Me. Why are you trying to kill me? I got bigger problems than you, motherfucker. I'm a sad hip hop man. I need to fuck you. Or I'll shoot you. Just kidding. I'd probably shoot myself. I did so many drugs. I didn't want to rhyme it with shelf. But what's she gonna do? Yo, I got problems in the work. I got problems in the middle, in the top of my dick. I got problems in all of them face. I got problems. I got lonely, sad, drug addled problems. I don't believe in God no more. But if I did, I'd fuck him so hard and go out the door. I fuck the devil too I'll go rule in hell And say how about you I'm gonna fuck the devil high Cause I'm so sad and lonely I love hip hop sad Modern hip hop lonely man And I'm, I, I got my I got my auto tune to prove I could afford to be in a studio Why? Why is that a thing now? Didn't share do this I don't want to sound old But didn't share do this Why is everyone doing it? It seems like the 80s And there's some cool things about the 80s I don't want to shit on them Cause the Duffer Brothers are here And I think they like the 80s I think they kind of like the 80s but I don't like the ladies Because they're just like a drug The toxic are fine. my soul I hate myself with my flow Oh, my neck is broken And my soul is empty I'm a modern hip-hop guy I'm sad It's emo hip-hop But it's not any less violent it, Who could have predicted this phenomenon? It's weird and kind of admirable But I fuck you, mama So hard she turned into a bull It was ancient Greek in that regard I'm gonna go across the river sticks and cut myself with a shard of myself. Right. I'm trying to, I don't want to be like one of those guys that's like, oh, I'm rapping. And then it's like, like, my name is something and I'm here to say. And then you're like, come on, the rap doesn't sound like that anymore. So I yeah. listen to more rap. And I was like, geez, these guys are so... They're Loops. so sad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's really... You really couldn't have predicted it because it was sort of... What, oh, oh, do you... Oh, is it... I'm still... It's still they're so sad. 
it's <laughs> okay. So there's there's the the knob that's supposed to change key. I guess I wish I knew more about music. <laughs> I don't think that one works. I think we need to send that back. But then there's a knob that says gender. <laughs> and it has oh, two man. settings. <laughs> <laughs> Which we, we now know it shouldn't. It should, it should be a continuum. But it's two settings or this, which is 1999. Uh, Prince, the Prince definition, uh, and, and then this, which is just you know, the, the Alvin. Uh, That's the Parliament Funkadelic voice. Yeah, we're going to a planet of music. Say, say, Atomic Dog. I hope you bring some pussy. It ain't about that. It's about music. What are you gay? No, I'm a human being. Sounds gay. Then maybe all humans are gay. Maybe we'd like to fuck music. You can do it somewhere else. Because I'm straight. Because it's 1983 and I'm not allowed to be gay. <clears throat> Resulting in uh, quite a lot of fantastical costumes and hairstyles. <laughs> Because when you put your thumb over a hose, it sprays everywhere. Uh, oh, yeah. You're like... Yeah. You're like the new Reggie Watts. <laughs> What's that? You're like the new Reggie Watts, I think. I'm, this is the new show. I don't... What does Reggie Watts do? Is it, he's got a delay pedal. He's great. Oh, no! I was th- not the first person to think of using it comedically? Oh, no. Oh, honey. <laughs> oh, no. Well, all right, I'll pull the rip card. I have some ventriloquist dummies in the back. I, uh, I've got one that's a terrorist. Oh, they're not. But oh, he's not no. too bright. He they're blows not. himself up. I make fun oh, of him. No. So I hear, I hear we, have, we have one guest here who wasn't here when we started the show. Oh, you okay? Well, all right. Well, it's it's nine eleven, so let's bring out Andy Dick yeah. and. Uh, well, I don't think it's no, him. I think it's just Dino. Oh, all right. Well, it's nine eleven, so let's bring out Dino. Yeah. <laughs> Happy nine eleven. <laughs> Yeah, in remembrance, we're not going to point out when it becomes 9-11 tonight, I think. Tonight, tonight it's all one big remembrance. Yeah. Did you see the clip that was circulating? It was a fire. Oh, the a, guy on the Stairmaster? No. <laughs> there was a fireman wearing all his gear and did like 157 steps or whatever they did on the Stairmaster. Oh. I know. It's sad. I, 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 love, it's sad. I love misguided like <laughs> sincerity. I love that. I, 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 I love that that guy, like, that guy, I hope he was like, he was, like crying. I, I, I'm not not because I want to make fun of him, but well, yeah, I mean, no, I kinda, he was he was sad. <laughs> I, 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 but that's I love that. I like that. Yeah, yeah. I, but but uh, there there was a clip that was circulating from around 9/11 when <laughs> it's like as the footage of the towers are falling and Donald Trump is the uh, who then is only a Pizza Hut spokesman and reality show host. <laughs> like he's just he's just talking about and he's like and he knows 9/11 is happening and he knows fully well he he's in a he's in a labyrinth of things to say wrong and he he comes up with he's just like yeah by the way uh i'm over at a uh, 60 trump boulevard or whatever which which was the, f- the the tallest building before the world trade center and and then for a while it was the second tallest but now it's the tallest again like i, I didn't watch the actual clip but that's the description of what's yeah. happening is that he's just like yeah why yeah, not i mean you know what, what what can happen i'm famous for my for my honesty and my charm <laughs> Why don't I just just like, like go right through those saloon doors and just just start whipping around like a little 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 uh, uh, carousel? I know it's just it's so hacky that his name is Trump, right? Yeah. <laughs> that's all he cares about. Yeah, um, yeah, he cares about trumping. Yeah. I'm saying God's hacky, not me. For no, yeah, I know. <laughs> I yeah, know, well, did you, laughed, did you see but... my Reggie Watts? Uh, yeah, fucking, yeah, yeah. Uh, I just got out of band practice. I could use that for my voice. Yeah, because I'm not a good singer. <laughs> I'm, I'm starting a band. You know that. I'm just telling the world. <laughs> You've started a band. So you're here because Feral Audio now has a show with you and Andy on it. That's called, right. Yeah. Called, called Skull called Juice. Skull Juice. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 
Yeah, it's just like I, I kind of just do it because Andy needs someone to talk to every now and then. <laughs> like everyone's cut him out of his life. All right. But uh, he, yeah, and he's like, well, you guys just did this thing where you went. That, that's uh, you, yeah, yeah. We just went to New York and we read an old script that I wrote with uh, Scott Atzen and Stephen Colbert and Mike Stoyanoff of TV's Blossom fame. Uh, he played the older brother, uh, Anthony, the ex-drug addict. Uh, Tony Blossom? The on, yeah, the only person less famous was me there. Up on this. <laughs> uh, Louis was on. Yeah, we wrote Louis into the script. And, uh, um, yeah, we went to you New York. You just did a reading, a of, reading the of the script that you had yeah. written in the old days that was kind of like before 30 Rock. It was like a... It was like a script you had written that was like behind the scenes at a uh, SNL yeah, type show. That's right, yeah. Barry Levinson hired me to write it. He wanted it to be like behind the scenes of an Ed Sullivan show with like jugglers and monkeys and stuff. And I'm like, I have no fucking clue what that means. Uh, and I said, what about SNL? He's like, that's a dumb idea. And we argued the whole time. But so this, this was kind of like a hybrid. But uh, yeah, so then we went and read it and uh, Smigel was part of it. Robert Smigel. And, uh, yeah, it was fun. Uh, everyone had a, a good time except for Andy. Is Andy here yet? Yeah. So I could talk behind his back. Uh, he was so depressed afterwards. He's like, why was I even there? It was, it was all about you and your friends and how you keep in touch with people. Yeah. <laughs> he's such a, like, I always, he was on Great Minds, the History Channel thing, and it's like, he's, he, he's amazing. He'll be here any second, and you'll, yeah. you'll, you'll he's, 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 he's very funny and, and wonderful. He's great, yeah. When he's like, when he's uh, somebody said he's right here. What is it? Is he? Is he? Is he like just? Is he... Just bring him in. Oh. There he is. Yeah. Thank God you walked in when I said you were great. <laughs> you didn't hear that? No, I said. Yeah. I said yeah. He's great. <laughs> like that. Okay. All right. Yeah. I mean, he's putting it in vibrate. Uh, I happy nine eleven, buddy. No, no. I'm putting it on. I'm, I'm Snapchatting these lovely people. <laughs> Look at them. I love them. Hi, everybody. Say hi. Look at... Oh, how sweet. Oh, grumpy cows. <laughs> grumpy cows. <laughs> uh, I think we were about to talk about... Well, what I would, would like to talk about with Andy, because I... I mean, I, it's easy enough to go like, oh, Andy. Andy's amazing. Like, like I think... I think you, you, it was a little little phase of your career where it's like you know you like the clown prince or like you know people are going like oh Andy Dick and then you like there's an unspoken like uh, like uh, you know oh him oh you know, yeah. yeah cautionary you know it's yeah. like you were you were I always looked at you as like Pan like from Greek mythology like you're a Pan well, like where where we where we get the word sexy and, <laughs> yeah, it's like like half goat and I he's got a, he's got a flute and he and he like comes yeah. down the mountain and causes fucking hysteria and craziness. And like, like, like for the sake of it, and then either disappears or gets beat up by Wesley Snipes in a bathroom. <laughs> did you did you have an encounter with Wesley Snipes? <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That uh, all right. So, but 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 can I tell you what happened with that? I but I think I know. Well, I, well, I dropped the end bomb. Right. It was you know. Oh, just, that's bad, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> that's a no no. <laughs> um. But we have a whole podcast, or a whole podcast that just went up. Sorry, I don't want to derail, but no, no. it's about how Andy read an article about how uh, black people's eyes have been, they've been bred to have their eyes pop out when they're scared. The what? The, uh, about what? Well, that's, that's, okay. Let's move along from that. Was, a, was, was the article in Hustler? <laughs> There was no article. It was my philosophy. What? Oh, you didn't tell me that. <laughs> you trying, told me you read it somewhere. Because I was trying to get away from it. <laughs> and then we it, talked about... There's a whole uh, group of black people that can... their eye, They can just go doink and their eyes pop out. And... <laughs> What are you talking? Is that your? Is, are you saying what if there was? Is that your? No, there is. <laughs> yeah, a lot of um, black people can make. Them, <laughs> is there something wrong with it? And then just, I just thought. Well, it's that a road flare. The phrase "black people," <laughs> it, it, it makes it just makes people do what okay, they should African in traffic, is, which is like, like no, I it's, 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 they just go. And like, do, okay, do I'm their gonna... feet also do their duty just when they run? Like, yeah. <laughs> No, come on, no, I'm serious. And and I, and I don't like saying African American. 
because they're not it takes from Africa. too much time too well yeah. it just doesn't black I don't know I'm white they say white why not black I, I think I think, I think black people's fine it's not a magical phrase that makes people think you're a bad person it's just I was just saying like like it, it, it puts everybody it's put puts millennials they cover the break they go they go like okay I'm, I'm I, it's 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 bumper to bumper I'm gonna go 35 instead of 45 that's what they, that <laughs> Be, be, because they're they've seen shit like they 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 were born into it like they they're not it's not like 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 I think our generation goes like what are these people after all this time what are they so worried about and complaining about it's like they just got here and and, yeah. and all they've seen is fucked up shit yeah like 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 we actually like kind of because we were because we we lived through no internet and then into internet our perception as Gen Xers whatever we are uh, is is that oh. Uh, everything was fine until everyone started talking about it. <laughs> that, that's our, that's the, like the fiber of our being. And then the new generation is typified by just their relate. They, they just, they were born and they're like, mama, dad, dad, internet. And the internet was like, the cops will shoot you if you're black. And they, and they're like, why, uh, what's that mean? And, and they're like, you know, what, what, and then there's like, fuck you, libtard. And they're like, what the fuck is happening? To, like, like, they're, they're, they get a fire hose of information to the face every day. Yeah. I mean, you're just saying people shouldn't listen to our podcast. And I think you're right. No, I think it's good. I, I, it's, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to think where, I'm trying to think more laterally about it and just go, these are the, these are the things that make us different. It's like that for, for that reason, like we had Karen Kilgariff on last week, and she, uh, uh, she she hosts a true crime show. And we talked about it's like, well, true crime through a certain lens, it's like it's totally insensitive and non PC because you're like having fun talking about people getting killed and like blah blah right. blah. But it's like it doesn't. There is no person out there that's like I'm gonna I'm gonna figure out what's right and what's wrong. It's just like when you look at people as a biomass, then they emanate like these weird things. I'm sure everybody would be would love to tune in and listen to you guys like transgress a million thresholds a minute. Yeah. Because it's not it doesn't mean that they're bad people for listening and stuff. Well, like I was it. listening to it and I was getting angry. Yeah. Uh, but I got angry because we we went into a whole t- um, tirade about what's going on. He went, he's, We're he's scoping his, now. Um, I am scoping. The whole. Yeah, right? No. Is that what that is? No. It's scoping. No. Periscoping? No. no, he's Snapchat, right? Although scoping. I was big on it for ha- uh, one hot minute on Periscope. <laughs> are you, what are you streaming there, then? Uh, Facebook Live. Oh, that that's where it's I should have asked. But, uh, oh, yeah, no. No, right. no, no. We're streaming No, it's you. not happening anywhere. It's happening right here, right now. You know, this now. is all being videoed. Live. We're anyway. scoping. No, but I, you know, for the people... Wherever. Let me tell you something. I was periscoping. I was periscoping once, and people make fun of me for doing that. Ha-ha. Sure. <laughs> Doink. My eyes. <laughs> we also went in about like. Well, you know, right. here's, no, here's what it is. Is what what my my thought on that I think popping out is that well the eyes will pop out like they can go watch this watch this Doink, and they can make them pop out and I think that. That they were that they, they, they were bred maybe that, like they were the one, oh, not that they were. That like, don't worry about them. <laughs> he, didn't he I just think, say? I think that that back in oh, it's this is just a weird thought I had, and that is, you know, when <laughs> it's too hard. I love it. You know, you know the, the thing. Yeah, when well, we don't have like, an audience, we can in the roll di- around back about in the it. Day, roll around when, the mud when there was horrible, horrible things going, on, especially in our country. You know when yeah, the slavery when, days, when, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. Just, I, which is still hard to even wrap my head around that it was really in right. our lifetime, and it's really now even still racial shit is still all right. Horrible. So you're anti-slavery, which should soften the blow <laughs> of what you're about to say, which is you believe that a forced well, breeding here, program had, uh, to create a comedic had, effect. Was I just effective. had the thought. <laughs> You know, you're this not gonna like it. I really, I don't even know why I brought it up. I, I, I just had the thought that, how come I can't make my eyes pop out? And no, no, I don't know any white people that can make their eyes pop out. I think back in the day when they, when they were, when they would be chasing down someone, they, they, they'd be so afraid their eyes what? would pop out, and they'd be like, oh, that, and then they'd be like, that one's funny. Let's keep that one around. <laughs> I, 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 and, 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 that w- and that would be bad because it's it would be. It's just a thought. Yeah. So I, I was listening back to the podcast and I was laughing. I thought we were great. I read it, by the way. And, I read it in Vanity Fair. 
What? Oh, you read the thing about the iPod? <laughs> yeah. Okay, I mean, whatever. To say that. So we started talking, and then we went into because uh, on Community there was a writer saying how a black writer was was talking about how black people were afraid to buy watermelon, not afraid, but embarrassed to buy watermelon because of the stigma of a, a black guy with watermelon. So sometimes they would have white people buy it for him. <laughs> and we're talking about how not fair it is because watermelon's delicious. I know you don't like it, but it's great. Everyone wow. loves it. And then it's, we talked about fried chicken and our yeah, favorite fried is. chicken place, and we talked about Popeyes. But then we said, like Pop- that woman loved that chicken right. and Popeyes, right. and her eyes pop out. But then we, but then we talked about Popeyes, oh, and we didn't, mention, we didn't mention that the name is Popeyes. Decline all calls. The name of the place is called Popeyes. Oh, my God, I did Yeah. <laughs> Is that why? Is that why? <laughs> is that why? <laughs> Look, well, I'm, I'm that, caught, that, that I'm caught in the cult of Andy right now. <laughs> it's just a thought I had. Why didn't we put two and two together? I know. We didn't mention it's it. Called so, Papa. I, so I gave you that gift on your podcast. Thank you. <laughs> yes, there. We almost can go home now. I know. It feels so good. Well, I want to talk about... I, I want to talk about an aspect of Andy that I, he's not—he's not—he's not famous for. If anything, you're, you're, you're famous for uh, you know, you're, you're, you, you people would assume. Well, you probably thick skinned because you're you're such an agent. Of I chaos. can take it, except you wouldn't know that last night when I went to get a cup of coffee last night at midnight. Who does that? But I did, and there were these two ladies in front of me. I have to tell you this real quick. And these two ladies were in front of me, and and right when I walked in, the guy was like. Oh, no, not you. Oh, we know you. No, no, no. And I'm like, you go crazy on coffee. <laughs> Caffeine drives you mad. And I just said, oh, yeah, well, yeah, it's me. Um, but, you know, help the ladies. And I just want a cup of coffee. And then they talked and were talking. They were done. They were done ordering, done getting their stuff. And they just kept talking about some bar they were going to. And I was just patiently waiting. I just really just want a cup of coffee. Um, but I didn't say that. I was just standing there. And then they left. And, and then I said, yeah, I just want a cup of coffee um, with cream. And then he was talking and, and, and ignoring me kind of. Put the coffee mug over here. And he didn't start up the coffee. There's a thing. It's this one on Coango where it's a drip thing and you press a button. And, and then I was waiting. I, I think that's every street coffee works like that. And it felt, it felt like five minutes. And I said, does, so does it just happen, the coffee? <laughs> <laughs> the mug isn't even. He went, oh, oh yeah, yeah. You wanted coffee so, <laughs> at the coffee so, place, and so he took the mug yeah. and put it under the thing, and then started pressing buttons. And I, I started saying, so were you just not gonna make it? Or? <laughs> <laughs> and then this guy came in immediately after, and then the guy said, oh, are you? Oh, are you guys closed or something? And he said, yes, and we're just doing illicit deals right now. And I went, no, no, no. I'm just getting a cup of coffee. I'm pretty sure they're open. Just getting a cup of coffee. And it was just, I was getting like, we, I was, this is what happened. This has never happened before. Because usually I just take it. Look, you said thick skinned, and it's true. And I just take it, and I take it, and I take it, and I take it. And I snapped last night. You guys would have been so proud of me. <laughs> I fucking I don't know no if you know there. what pride is. <laughs> no one was there. <laughs> he laughed, and then I, then and then he started remaking my coffee and doing my coffee. And I said um, uh, something. He said one more comment. You know, well, you know, you're that guy. This and that. And I, don't know. And I said I said something to the effect of, well, you know, sometimes I'm just a guy that just wants a cup of coffee. <laughs> Um, but thanks. I get it because it's the life I created, and you're in, you're, you're in good company because everybody makes fun of me. You know, Letterman, Conan, Harmon. You're in good company, so I get it. And once again, I deserve it. I deserve it because I'm an idiot, and I am an idiot. I'm an idiot. And you know, actually, you know, can I tell you something? Alcoholism and, and drug addiction, it's kind of a serious thing. And it'd be, you know what it is like, in a way? I mean, just to point it out, it'd be like if I came in with, with um, crutches and I was like a cripple, and you said, hey, sorry, we don't have a ramp for you, Gimpo the Clown. <laughs> it's kind of like that, but I'm okay. I'm just saying, watch yourself for other people that might not be okay with it, but I'm perfectly fine with it. <laughs> <laughs> but just be careful, because some people might snap. He's like, no. I didn't mean it like that at all. And I went, whoa, 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 whoa. No, you said right when I walked in, you went, whoa, we know you, not you. <laughs> what, what does that mean? No, I, I don't even know that part about you. Like, 
what, that I'm a big drug addict, an alcoholic? He's like, that's what I said. He said, yeah, no, I just know, you know, you're a celebrity. And I, I, I smell bullshit. And I'm like, well, oh, okay, then what's your favorite thing I've ever seen? <laughs> he said, well, I don't know. He said, I don't know. I don't really know what you do. I'm like, that's my point. You know me from being a fucking moron. I admit it. I, I admit and then, then that's what you were doing. You were kind of going with the fucking flow and making fun of me in front of those people. And then the next guy comes in. Oh, no, we're just doing an illicit deal. That talks, you're talking about drugs, right? And, and so you're lying and fuck you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. I am so proud of I you. I am proud of you. I'm very proud of you. <laughs> I normally am not like that. I feel responsible. No, but I, I, I do feel proud because I, I, yeah. I never stick up for myself like that. And I said, fuck you. But by the end, we had made up and I was... He, his dad's an alcoholic, <laughs> and I and I understood where it was coming from, and then I was crying, and I'm like, now nah, well, I'm an is, asshole. I'm sorry, you, so this continued, and he started apologizing and, free, and broke down because yeah. his yes. dad's an alcoholic. Wow! We, and we both had a. It was a cathartic thing, and I said, wow. you know what? Can I be honest with you? You helped me so much right now that you were just like this opening for me to. I guess I carry that with me everywhere I fucking go, and I don't have thick skin, I guess. And I and when people make fun of me, I just I'm just getting smaller and smaller and sadder and sadder. And well, that's I what I was going to talk about because on one through one lens, you're like you're you're like this Pokemon that like you you. you you you, you 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 have some quirky name and like it's, it's like you you curl up into a ball and like 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 your your exploits are like well it's not like you're a a rude per- your the, the self destruction is always higher than the rudeness which I think kind of equates to like I think I th- it's like 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 oh thick skin and like he's fine it's like he's an equal opportunity offender and he and he puts himself at the top of the list because he ends up being like thrown out of every bar and blah 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 this is when you're he's off like the wagon. meowth like 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 meowth oh, it's yeah, like meowth yeah a that's Pokemon. a Pokemon is that one a Pokemon yeah yeah you guys but, know how to talk to your crowd oh yeah uh, but no, on the other hand me man <laughs> on it's the other hand I've never met anybody I th- I think I'm not exaggerating when I say this. I'm trying to think like it's hard to think up here, but like uh, I th- I think I've never met anybody with with a, your particularly sensitive whisker about like um, it it's it it's like I'm trying it's like I'm, you you can go like from such a high like and I'm not talking I'm talking about on the wagon and just you like I'm not talking about I'm saying you can go from such a, a high mood like and f- you're funny and you're fun and you're having a good time and stuff and then like it seems like a bit at first but you can take this roller coaster plunge yeah. and it really is tied to like like it's the most absurdly microscopic mention of of someone liking someone else like any any kind of girls like 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 you, we could be hanging out on a porch and like oh the weather's so beautiful and you could be like cracking me up with your with your stories or like like just being funny and cool and then like i i i i, I, I you we're both thinking of the same thing on the set of yeah, great minds, Nick, but also I hear stories no. from Dino, and I think it's happened before with you and me where it's like i you go oh that cloud is shaped like like Paul Rudd, I love Paul Rudd, and then I was like, like, I'm gonna get another lemonade. Do you want another lemonade? I don't know. Why didn't you get Paul Rudd another lemonade? <laughs> and, it, and it and it always seems like a bit. And I go like, ha ha ha, ha. and then I bring back the lemonade, and and, it, and it's just like, like this is good. You're so nice. Thank you. I'm like, thank you. I really like hanging out with you. And I was like. Is this, what is it with Paul Rudd? What is it? And it's, like, it's like Jesus, Andy. Like so, you, so you, that you, Paul Rudd thing never happened. <laughs> it did happen with Nick Kroll. Yeah, You're yeah. Right. Well, I, just, I, I, I mentioned Nick Kroll like on the set of Great Minds. It was like and he it has was, a show. You guys probably know that Great Minds <laughs> show. And Nick had, I guess, just done it and did a great job. <laughs> But I was, I was bringing is, it up. You didn't shut up about I, it, how I, great I, I he did was. Shut up about but he was it. trying I to compliment really, you when he brought it up. No, I, I brought he was up. just talking about how great Nick did. See? <laughs> no, I Nothing brought about I, how, I, how I just had done it that day. I was where I was leaving. He didn't say, and you did real good today. He didn't even have that part in there. <laughs> no, we were all about Nick. What about me? <laughs> But I, listen, <laughs> I wouldn't. I brought it up because it was a. I was connecting the dot. I was like, I haven't had this much fun since Nick Kroll was on, or something like that. It was like it was oh, like I was putting. You I in didn't a hear camera. that part. Yeah. 
I really didn't. I'm so sorry. I was so like, sorry. I was like, why would anyone? You, ha- you heard, haven't had fun, Nick Kroll. <laughs> <laughs> And, and uh, like, think about the kind of like weird monster I must be yeah. if, it, like, like the, through your eyes, if you think it's possible that you'd be shitting the bed, and in order to cope with it, I'd be like, oh, I love Nick Kroll. He never, sh- never <laughs> shits would, the bed. Yeah. I- oh, it was worse than that. In my mind, I honestly thought you were trying to take me out of the. Never days. trust okay. your mind. Okay, so <laughs> it's insane. <laughs> it has historically steered you wrong. <laughs> I, I think I had to call you and say. I think he's fucking with me. Uh, yeah, and I'm like, I, I doubt it. <laughs> he's too lazy. I'm thinking about it now. <laughs> yeah. I he doesn't really like thought... confrontation at all. Like, you know, fu- fucking with someone. Seriously, it's, it's just... I did really was. I did. I did. I, and I I'm, feel, I'm and not I, lying. I thought he was fucking with me, and I thought he was being mean. You're right. I did. But, that is and, so uh, embarrassing. So, so, well, let's, but, 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 but let's talk about that because I'm sure there's a lot of people listening. Well, it probably who happens like, every fucking day. To that. You know, the coffee guy, maybe he was, he was serious. He did, doesn't know me I think me people at all. who are ultra-sensitive portray themselves as not sensitive at all, and that's what you go out well, and I you think, do. Well, I think yeah. it's, it's almost like it's cutting true. or something. It's like you, you develop like this because you know how fucking risky the world is. Yes, I, I, that's what I want to talk about because I, I, th- I, I can relate, and I think a lot of people relate, that it's like you go, oh, my God, the, this world could fucking undo me you know like nothing and and so you but that took a certain uh 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 Face on the playground or something, and it's like we we develop these really specific numbnesses. Like we, and as, as people that gravitate towards microphones and cameras and things, it's like you, you. It's it's like this weird inversion where you you callous yourself over in all of the places that normal people would be sensitive, because you're just like you just develop that cow catcher on the front of your train. You're just like, okay, that's the spot where there's going to be impact. Like, and then ironically, you put so much energy into that you have these like it's like if batman just had naked flesh on a, like here but had like a bulletproof like like titanium thing and then it was just like naked you could see his ribs and his acne here uh, uh, and, and it's just like everybody was just like get him like that and every time he did he was like oh god damn it i should quit being batman i'm uh, yes. i'm fascinated by these cow catchers on trains <laughs> they really have those yes they, ca- they catch big cows. swooping metal things to so catch it, cows no to get him along, like oh, it cuts down our herd. Run into them, and, whoa, oh, yeah, the cow probably yeah. dies. Oh, know. it dies. Oh, it saves the train. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Do it's you good. think? Yeah. <laughs> do you think that do you... trains are an endangered species? <laughs> Do you think that you project things that aren't there, or do you think you're like? It's, is it is it about like I characterize it as a cat whisker? Is it me? Like, yeah, like no. Like, my thing happened. I've been thinking about this recently. It, it happened. It went all the way back. It's happening again, but this time I know. I think I know what to do and how to handle it. First of all, I'm 50, so and I've been through it a bunch. But what happened? What happened is is we did we did the Ben Stiller show. And then all of the... I can't s- believe you're 50. You seem like six to me. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of 50-year-olds do, though. That's the, that's the new thing. Then, then uh, I, I just catapulted out of there onto news radio, and I, I played this, this... I remember the audition for news radio. Paul Sims had me come in and read for the network and everybody and the writers, and, and I did it, and I, I guess I fell flat. But it, before the audition, when in the room, I was talking like this. And I'm like, this is going to be fun, right? Is this going to be fun? Phil Harmon and, and Dave, Dave Foley. And this is going to be wild. And so anyways, then I do my audition. Blah, 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 blah. So, yeah. What are we, you know, whatever you guys need from me, I'm, I'm, I'm in, I'm ready. I'm like that. And then Paul Sims told me that I left and everybody was disappointed with my audition. And Paul said, can I tell you something? Did you see how he was before the audition? Before he started reading the part and after that's how he's going to be. So we're going to write for him. And then that's what they did. And I became this kind of like warm and fuzzy character that people on the street always wanted to just touch and hug and all that. But I wasn't always that person. <laughs> and so I, I, I built up this, this thing. Yeah, I really did. I, I went full force into drugs and alcohol. And I started like a punk band. And, you know, and I, I, I made another persona that that one I can't shake now. All right. I always felt like like and, and and when I say something like I always felt I'm not qualified like I one of the things that I love about you is that you don't punish people like me for just speculating and ta- like I get 
back in the 90s, I would get mad at people for talking about you. Like, like, like the oh. way that they did because I would be like, because I have my own issues and I'd like, like, and, and I'm kind of like, like the whole like, oh, you have a problem with substances or whatever. Like, I just don't like the way normie norms handle it. Like, I don't, and I don't like indulging that stuff. And it's like, in spite of the fact that I think now I'm 43, you're 50, and it's like I, 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 you, I, I've, I've had enough drinks with you and been through. I, I've, I've seen enough to think. I think it's a great idea for you to be sober. Like I, I really do. And like, but I, but I. Why am I, I here? I was like planning my next relapse. I just. I was, uh, <laughs> it's been I, almost two years. W- by I, the way. Which is fucking that's amazing. Not, yeah. I, that's, no, it's not enough. Not enough. You know, it's, <laughs> don't applaud two years. God damn it. <laughs> It's not an accomplishment, people. <laughs> no, it's not. It is though He's because right. you, because you were on and off like it's a like so a like hard. a goddamn yo-yo. And like I hate two, it. And two I, years is huge. I'm gonna drink again. I'm not gonna lie. Oh. No, shut up. Oh, no. Why? Why? Can't why? I, why? why? Oh no. no, it's a nightmare. I feel, I, it's just a nightmare. I, I, think I can't it. ever again. I can't even comprehend that. There's did no you have, a, <laughs> did you have a timer set on your your phone that's now in that guy's hands? Is that was that? Is I have an t- app that tells me how much time, how much yeah. sober time I have. Yeah, are we still good? We're not, we're not cutting into that, right? Because I know you have somewhere to be after this, right? Oh, that you. Oh, you're right. I don't. Do. I have another show. Yeah. Oh, you're wait, right. I'm wait, sorry. Well, he right. also has an app about when he's going to stop drinking. So, <laughs> but this is delete that. Can I be honest with you? This is far more important. No, I okay. I'm, I just want you to be me. doing what I, you want to do I, with all the information you can have. So here's the here's the question I I want to ask you. Keep going though. I've 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 seen your relationship with uh, with with our medicine. I've seen your relationship with our. Wait, did, did you talk about drugs and alcohol? Is our medicine? It really is. Do you know if I didn't have drugs and alcohol over the, all these last twenty thirty years? I started drinking when I was fourteen, so it's been like thirty or more years. I would have killed myself. I'm sorry, I really would have killed myself, and I I or, or I would have been prescribed something, and maybe that would have worked. Maybe I don't know. I never did any of those, but drugs and alcohol worked for me, and I love them. But the other. <laughs> But the other the other thing that works for you, <laughs> the other thing that works for you is attention. Like like is that a yeah. fair thing? Like I, that's this how, does take the place of that. When You're right. We, when yes. we were hanging out, we were doing that Comedy Central thing, and it was like I, I what my my my. He was creating a show for me. He was creating the new Andy Dick show for me. And then, I don't know, things got a little hairy. <laughs> I don't know what happened. We were, I remember just having a bunch of fun, doing a lot of coke. Robin Williams was hanging out with us. We were having fun. And then he's like, I'm out. And then I see communities created by Dan Harmon. Oh, I don't think oh, it happened like that. Yeah. No, it did. All of a sudden. <laughs> Listen one more time. I, um, I, I, he but, just left to do his funny little show that you guys all love and then left me high and dry. This is just, just Andy. drugs by myself. In the middle of a drink and then all of a sudden he's gone. <laughs> no, there was a lot of shit that happened in the middle of that drink. <laughs> Well, I don't remember that stuff, but well, I, felt about, I mean, I, but I'm I, proud of that. I, I'm not mad about it because I would have left me. I wouldn't have even started. I didn't. I didn't leave you. Comedy Central like looked at the outline that we turned in and they said like, uh, no, no, this is going to be kind of a stereotype because uh, we bought that show and now we don't want it. Har har har. And I was like, hardy har. What? It was like. <laughs> It was Comedy Central. Oh, so you so, didn't leave. No, I didn't leave. I, 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 anyway, but I want to. I want to make sure. I. I. Because I. I, 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 I want to know. Like, do you, so I should watch Community. Can you draw in your head? <laughs> Just watch your episode. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in it. I, was like, I, I thought he was fucking with me with that. Because he's like, listen, I wrote you in Community. I'm like, great. And you're. Is doing it a big part? Scene? No. 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 <laughs> Is it a big part? <laughs> Not really. But you do a scene with Chevy Chase. I'm like, fuck yeah. I love the guy. I really, and I know the, all your thing with him, but I'm like, I fucking love him. Because he's a fuck. he's the original guy. He's like one of the great, he's just great. I really like, I know you. Yeah. But I, I got, I got a <laughs> He was, and this one you must have been fucking with me. Because I, I get to the set, right? And I'm like, so my scene I see is with Chevy Chase. Um, maybe we should meet up and we can talk about the scene. Oh, he's not here. What yet? He's not going to be here. You're going to be doing it on a green screen. Did, did you really? Did you look at the script? You're we're putting you in a green screen, and we're going to shrink you down. You're going to be sitting on Chevy Chase's shoulder. 
So talk about a bit part. I was this fucking big. And there wasn't even a cardboard cutout of Chevy Chase to act with. I was by myself. You didn't even show up. I was doing a model because, because camera. I, I had cast screen. Andy Dick as Chevy Chase's drug addiction. I didn't need to yeah, be there. And then, and then it then suits that. itself. And then, it's fine. He is the coffee guy from last night. <laughs> That's my point. And what am but I really, say, Fuck this, I'm out. No, but I But unlike to be that coffee guy, act. I didn't like, I wasn't pretending not to know you yeah, having exactly. exploited That's you. That's the part that got me. When he like, pretended well, that, made that he wasn't doing too. what he was doing. That yeah. made me really mad. When he would have, like, I, and I, like, oh, and I, I said, I'm sorry, I, said, I just don't know who you are. I said, I said yeah, own up you. to it, man. Oh, I said it. I was proud. proud. Yeah. <laughs> but I just wanted to love it. So can we draw, I want to try to draw a connection between the, um, the, the medicine that is attention. Like, yeah, the, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, and, yeah. and you're one of those people that really lights up like when people yeah. are focused on right. you yeah. and like I said earlier mm-hmm. it's like to the point where you could experiment like with that vocoder <laughs> like we can turn the dial of mentioning Paul Rudd and yeah. you can like, and I think it. that that's what happened that's I how think that's what I was getting at is that I think that that the world saw that how easy I am so, I'm like a little bit of a whore and then they're like now let's poke with him and let's let's do that and then it fucking drove me insane and I I've been to 20 different rehabs. I've lived like three years in a facility. I live in one right now. I'm in a facility. When I leave here, I go and I go back to a sober living. But it's nice, right? I love it. It's on the beach. Yeah. I mean, you don't have to feel <laughs> sorry for that. And I'm the only one in this one house. I mean, I got it made. You do all the drugs you want. <laughs> that's the one thing. Um, that's the one catch. <laughs> That's how they get you. <laughs> you know, I do think about that. If I took one fucking sip, it's gone. My house is gone. You would look at me different. You said it on stage with I Tina wouldn't look Faye. at you at all. You'd see the Tina- back of my head. I'd be <laughs> uh, running Tina away. Tina was right next to us, and, and I said, I said that I want to, you know, still want to drink. I want to drink right now. But Tina Fey had a fucking glass of wine tucked into her cunt right there. <laughs> Everybody's drinking <laughs> scotch and Steve Colbert drinking and everyone. I'm like, I, I want to, I want to drink. You said if you drink, I'm leaving right now. <laughs> and he means this. So like, yeah, I, I don't want him to leave. Don't groan out there. You, um, you, have you seen him drunk? It's a nightmare. So it's I, bad. So the medicine of yeah, attention, right? Like. Is it? I would just want to talk about the relationship, like, like, because there's a couple different models here that we could uh, uh, use. Like, is it? I'm curious. Like, in your mind, is it like? Would it be easy to stay sober for 20 years if, during every minute of that 20 years, everybody was like, "Andy, are you okay? Are you all right? You're so you're very funny. You're you're beautiful. You're wonderful." Yeah. Like, 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 like. Is it? I is saw, it, I've been thinking about this. Is it when that needle goes off and then it's like it's like I could supplement that with like the other thing that makes it. me I, yes I t- think, that takes yes. my brain because yes. we're talking about numbness. Yes. That's we're talking about. Peep, you have such a high degree of empathy then maybe yes. that that you can feel people yes. like you knew that guy was fucking around yeah. like you're hypersensitive right. to that mm-hmm. that makes you a good entertainer yeah. mm-hmm. it, your 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 curse to bear then is that like your the, that seismograph oh, is yeah. designed it's, to measure fucking yeah, uh, yeah, kittens too, walking too across sensitive. the kitchen floor yeah, exactly. so uh, so the Northridge quake is a little tough yeah, sometimes yeah, if somebody yeah, is, yes. is like hey Andy <laughs> yeah. and you're like ah, I want to kill myself if and something so, really Super bad happen. It would be just curtains. I mean, you're, you're talking to the two guys who love drinking more than anything, who love, who hate it when people don't drink. Right? We hate it when people don't drink. Well, you're, you're, you're me and you. Him, me yes. and you. No, but and we love it when he doesn't. Yes. Right. Yes. That doesn't just doesn't seem fair. <laughs> it's it, but there's uh, there's uh, there's got to be other things you can do that I can't. Like, did I, you see Holy Hell? Uh, yes, I that? did. I just saw yeah, it. I just, I just saw, saw it. it. God, I have this weird thing that all celebrities, and me included, create a mini fucking, uh, what's it, a cult. What, what, what's you it, have cult? it. This is your little mini cult. No. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, and it's not a bad thing. I kept looking at that guy going, he's not that bad. I want a cult. <laughs> you have one. You have one. I do. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> But what do you think? Do you see, do you see that situation as untenable? And like, is there an adjustment that you could make? Because I like like, can we talk for a second yeah. just about therapy? Are you in therapy? I mean, it all the time. I, I live at that place. Our podcast I, is therapy. It really is. And uh, so, I I I approached Dino and begged him. I just asked him if he could please just hang out. 
because I wanted to get to the bottom of why he left me in the first place yeah. years ago. He's just like, he just stopped talking to me. I couldn't get him on the phone. I'm like, what? That hurt me to my marrow. And we've never like sucked each other's cocks or anything. No, he, he I'm the only person he's never been attracted to. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do? <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, there's like no wrong answers on that podcast. It's like, yeah, yeah, black people's eyes pop out. Love it. Yeah. <laughs> Don't listen to the podcast. <laughs> Don't listen he, to our he podcast. He drops the end bomb like for no reason. I do it here. It's just no. Po- I stopped Don't. doing it here when people started applauding. Yeah. That, that, then it got then it got creepy. <laughs> yeah, but I think it's true about the millennials. You know, they're, it's they're new to the party, and we have to respect the. But it's them a, it's, a it's, I'm, 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 I think that it's like yeah, but you can can you sense, and I think you can, or maybe it's even more interesting if you can't because. Look what happened. You came out and you were like like a bull in a china shop over but instead of china it was like hot buttons uh are for sale in this shop. No, it's not a shop. You're not supposed to be in there. You're a bull in a fucking racist tie, tie ride. Every button you could push. And 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 even though you're about, like, like like you're being told like, "Oh, they they don't like that and blah blah blah." Like it, you then all of a sudden 5 seconds later like we've switched gears into a, a one night show with Andy Dick where you're t- telling stories and people are leaned in and they're sharing with you because you're talking about your pain you're talking about what it means to be Andy Dick in a Starbucks when it, it, you 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 adapted because you're like a freaky stem cell like mystique character that's like 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 oh anything to because you you love making people happy yes. uh, but it has yes. to be you that, and that that, that that's well like, that's all I have well I mean yeah you can't it's just yeah. like but you can't like the only you, way you're so but it's not about that you're happy you're not happy that people are happy you're happy that you make people happy like right. if someone next to you makes someone happy you're gonna be like why am I even here <laughs> on earth <laughs> That's exactly what happens. That's what yeah. it is. And Not by the way, exactly. it does happen. But I'm better at that. I, and I know what you he's weren't better in New York. Yeah, that's what he's referencing. In New York City, we did this our Skull Juice podcast, and that's what I was getting at. That I approached Dino, and I'm like, "Can we? Can you be my friend? I miss you, and I just want to be." Here. He's like, "Let's start a podcast." And I'm like, "I don't really fine." If, you're, if it means you're going to be my friend, let's do it. And then I thought, no one's going to listen to this, and we'll just talk, and, and I'm going to get to the bottom of why he left me. And I've been, I've had, I've a, I have a lot of insights after we talk, a lot. And I go away hating you, but then I want to do another one. Yeah. I, wanna, I call him the next day, can we do another one today? He's yeah, like, he no. loves hating me. And he hate. <laughs> and by the way, he hates doing the podcast. At one hour, he's like, "We're done." I'm like, "No, we're just." Gonna. But in New York, it was it it and you know, rightfully so, and fair enough, it was all about Dino, and that's fine. I wasn't fine with it in New York. I wasn't fine with it. It was Dino created this thing, and it was Tina Fey and Stephen Colbert and all those people. I don't know if you heard about it. And we were live on stage like this, and and what's his name? Louis C.K. showed up, and Scott Adset. And and am I missing anybody? And it was Smigel just, and, and yeah. Smigel triumph the insult comic dog. And yeah. oh look, that's him. Oh, there he, he is. is! It's he a is. skeleton. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> and his eyes bugged out. And, <laughs> and and Dino created this night. I I started having this great uh, appreciation for you. And like he, Stephen Colbert texted him and said hey I listened to your first Skull Juice podcast I'm like he did he's like yeah so Stephen texted him and said yeah you were going to read the script that you got that that he had written with Stephen and then you never got to it because it was all about me you know we never got to the script he's like I listened to the whole fucking podcast (laughs) he was oh he hated it no I don't think he hated it oh I was but, trying to get a laugh. Oh. But see, I almost went into that spiral. I know, I know. Talking about. I know, but cool. anyhow, anyhow. Everyone so. was scared. <laughs> <laughs> so, but he, then the, the, Dino just said offhandedly, why don't we just do it live on stage? And then within a week, everybody's live fucking on stage because Dino said, let's do it. That's Dino's thing. Well, you guys are like almost, you're the opposite on one axis, which is that Dino does not, he doesn't give a fuck. I don't care. And then everyone kind of feels stuff. safe, I guess. Yeah. To, I guess it's that old thing. We all know. No, secretly he does care about like that's what I'm getting tell you, no he, he, do, he, does. he does I don't know if it's that secret okay, okay. <laughs> but he doesn't yeah well anyway I don't know it's too, okay. I don't obsess but 
We, well, listen, we've got Paul true. Rudd here tonight, so yeah. if, and, and <laughs> we need one of the chairs. But you, you have a, you have a, you have a, you have a heart out, right? If you want, you can, you can. Is Paul Rudd here for real? Yeah, no. yeah. No, Paul Rudd's here. He really is. Yep. Oh, then I'll leave. <laughs> why am I? Got, but why you have was to. I here? You have to why go, was I don't here don't at you, all? Don't you have to go? <laughs> Stephen is Colbert's Nick here. here too. Yeah. Oh, Paul on. Rudd really is, is he here? here? Is yeah, he? yeah, yeah. No, he's go. not. No, Paul Rudd's not here. Uh, Jesus Christ. Uh, you got me. All right. <laughs> no, I'm mad. I do have to go well, that anyways. Would, yeah. I have a show in Burbank yeah. at Let's 9 thank o'clock. Andy Dick for bearing his thank soul, and he'll you, come back. Guys. Thank and, uh, you. Andy yeah. Dick, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> he's just, he's he ain't uh, leaving. Working out the kinks. Is, is, is his hand wear here? Yeah. Do, do we have the net? It'll be okay. All right. Well, uh, that was a weird event. Uh, yeah, it but was. But now it's time for some stranger things. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, I, sh- I should go too, right? And clear no, the no, stage. No, you stay uh, here. All right. Uh, uh, let's bring out Matt and Ross Duffer, the Duffer Brothers. Yeah. <laughs> Don't double book. Hi guys. Hey. Sorry, are you? Are you? you I, I, I braced you for for being for being uh, having to wait and stuff, and you're fine with it. Yeah. yeah. Thanks for okay. putting us after. Yeah. Andy Dick. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. We're just coasting, gliding on the momentum, baby. All right. So. I- <laughs> So everybody wants to know, how do you tell them apart? I'll tell you. I figured it out. They're kind of like the Duplass brothers. Uh, yeah, except that... Wait, you can't tell them apart either. twins, though. I don't... Well, I t- <laughs> the Duplass is I'd have to Google them and then look and go, okay, yeah, I can't tell them from the... Like, uh, but then the guys, the animals guys who aren't even brothers, much less twins, I will never be able to tell them right. apart. But these guys are easy. Matt has a shock of white hair in front, uh, uh, oh. which is a welcome mat for your remembering his name. <laughs> Ross is raw. He's not cooked yet, so he doesn't have a, sh- a gray hair thing. How do you remember the word mnemonic? <laughs> I think of the word phenomenon. <laughs> and then I think... Do, 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 do. I, uh, I, 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 I think of pneumonia... Because I need to th- have mnemonics because I'm such a cold person, I can't tell people apart. I do. That's how I, I remember the word mnemonic. Mm. All right, you guys are into your. Uh, I, well, there's nothing I could. Yeah. Uh, you guys are. Uh, he's not going to start drinking again, is he? Yeah, thanks to everyone here. <laughs> but what did we do? We didn't do anything. Uh, they groaned every time I said I didn't want him to drink. No, I hate it. No, I hate it when he says he says like I'm gonna it's like it's like it's I really like, thought he was gonna drink in New York. You guys like TV. I'm a, I'm amazed that he didn't like New working York, in it. Sorry. And by the way, I'm talking now like the people I hated well, in, the, in the 2000s. I was like, fuck, fuck you guys. You're not. You don't care. But it's like now it's like we're old. It's it's we're so old that it's like now I'm like actually sincerely like, come on, man, don't drink. Oh, I care. I work with. Them. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, 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 oh, hi guys. It's a, hey. <laughs> hey. So, so, so you guys are now writing season two, of Stranger Things. Correct. Uh, <laughs> so, well, okay. So first, let's talk about the what everyone keeps calling a title sequence, but it's like it's not a sequence of anything. It's neon letters in an amazing yeah. font with a cool John Carpenter uh, type uh, song. Who, who's this? Who's this uh, composer? Oh, who did the music yeah, for it? Yeah, yeah. These guys named Kyle and Michael. They're part of this band called Survive in uh, out of Austin. And uh, I, we made this little... Tr- we When we tried to sell the show, we made this little trailer of... We put all these you know clips from old movies together with a Spielberg or Carpenter or whatever, try to get the vibe across. And some of it was John Carpenter music that we used, but then for the like, like the find the end, the epic end of this trailer, we didn't, we couldn't find anything, and we used music from this band. Uh. And so when it came to the show, we just, yeah, we called them up. I mean, they had regular. One of them sold used synthesizers. Mm-hmm. Like, like they, you don't make money, uh, you know, in an instrumental like synth band. Like it's like you can't <laughs> you know, make. Like, I mean, you don't, you make don't money, have a living. Yeah, so I called them up and music. I was like, "You guys, you know, I mean, at first we had to convince, you know, Netflix and the producers, and then which crazy, you know, they let us, you know, do it, and then we called them and we're like, would you quit your jobs to do this? And they're like, "Fuck yeah!" Because I mean, they, <laughs> are you and kidding they'll be, me? They'll, now they'll be fine because your show's 
they're, big enough that they they can just go on tour. They're now. like touring. Yeah, now. they're yeah. touring with a synth. And, it's crazy. Yeah, like and I, people will be like, yeah, uh, it's great. Uh, like, 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 I always I, wonder about like the when you see like a, you see like a Toyota commercial and you hear like a song you really like and yeah. then you look it up and you're like, oh, and then you buy the album and it's like the only like like I, I I'm not saying these guys are that at all. I have no idea, but I I, I always wonder about the phenomenon of like being a band who. Who's like, who all of a sudden either? Well, well, I, I will look at the '88. Like, I, I, I just, I wonder sometimes. Like, 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 they, they were big enough. They were doing like they, you, they were using their music was like in shampoo commercials and all this stuff. And then Joe Russo said like we should use them for the theme song of Community. Then they do the thing. It was like I always wonder what their relationship is if they hate it or love it or I'm like sure they love it. I'm sure they love it. I don't know. I, I don't know what's going to happen. I mean, they're barely scraping by right now. But like, I'm sure they're, they're going to be great. They're going to do really well. And, and are you guys and from then, Austin? No, 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 no. North Carolina. All right. Durham, North Carolina. Yeah. Asheville? You just said yeah. Durham. Durham. Yeah. <laughs> I, have a, I have a neurological disorder. <laughs> you may have heard of it in Wired Magazine. It's pretty chic. Um, they diagnosed myself on the internet. <laughs> Uh, the the uh, it's a, so okay so here's something I find interesting about you guys, you are twins but and then I the the we we met at lunch the uh, waitress came over and said are you guys twins and you're like yeah and like and she said identical and I've never heard this response before you guys said we don't know we might be we assume we are you could clear that up with a blood test but you've gotten to the point where you don't want to know. I didn't we don't know, know what a, it would psychologically well, do to well, us. Yeah, no, no. Point. I mean, we, I think if it came back and we were identical, we'd feel fine and we'd be the same. But like, if it came back that we weren't, I don't think right. you. I don't think you are. You're not even wearing no, the same I shirt. Hear, I don't want to hear that. <laughs> He's, he bases all of his uh, knowledge about twins on like How chimpanzee shows from the sixties. Yeah, right. like, I don't um, want to know. The, I don't the, want to know. I don't want to know. I think it could fuck us up. But it's not, that's not even what shocks me. What shocks me is that it's possible in this modern era. You you, you guys were born into a stainless steel honeycomb. Uh, you were born into oh, THX 1138. Know. You were born in underground too. Andy's still here. Oh, oh, Jesus. oh shit! I I didn't I didn't I love that show so much. Oh, I, I could go on and on and on. You know what I show he, he doesn't love his own show that he's. <laughs> no, I but oh you know what there's a there's a Volkswagen blocking my car. <laughs> That's why I came back. I'm not kidding. Oh. I didn't know that this was the people from Stranger Things, though. This is fucking... Why can't I stay? <laughs> I'm fucking serious. This is fucking amazing. That show, I, I got to talk to you guys about why and how it's so amazing. All right, well, go ahead. I mean. <laughs> no, this is your show. I got to go, but can somebody move there? It's like a black... No, we fucking, want you to fuck. talk to them now. I have a show. There's a whole audience. Fuck your show. <laughs> You're mean. <laughs> Come on, Talk, ask him a few questions. I'll, I'll, I'll get, I'll go. No, no. I'll go okay, get the Volkswagen, the Volkswagen out of the way. Button. Whose car is that? Well, we'll there's so out. many good things. Um, the acting and the writing and the way, the way, the way. It's so, it's so. You really, you know what? I, I relate to Winona Ryder. I will relate to that character because the way that I don't know if you guys directed her in this way or whatever, but she is that person where everything about her, and she even says, "I know I seem crazy. I know, I know, but I'm not. I heard, I saw things in the wall, and the lights are." And the more she screams, it's the more crazy she sounds, and yeah, I love yeah. that. Yeah, you. <laughs> Yeah, you talk to lamps and shit. I love you it. You connected to that. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Yeah. No, and I then, mean, we we cast one. Not, like we had. I think we had one script written, and we cast her, and it was like a very different role. It was like a tough. Like smoking Long Island mom, and then we had Winona, and I said, "What you know?" And then I loved the idea of Winona, and then we started to talk about like Richard Drivers and Close Encounters. We started talking about like what's cool about Winona, what we love about Winona, and that's a cool. Thing. That's what I love about television that you can it can evolve. Like once we ca- all the ki- kids were cast, yeah. uh, we had one script written, and we rewrote that script based on all these kids, yeah. and we just wrote to all of them. We wrote to Winona, and they make the show. I think they made the show so much better, more interesting. Everything was much more. Stereotypical. All of them are great, and the other yeah. ki- the other guy I relate, and the kids are amazing. Everybody's so good. You did such a great job with with casting and and writing and the way you shoot it and everything. That other guy that I just fucking love him is the the, the lead man, the police officer. Oh, what Harbor, a fucking yeah. train wreck! Immediately he's popping <laughs> pills, smoking. He doesn't give a shit. He's drinking. He doesn't. He hates his job, but he's a fucking hero. The f- <laughs> 
the first time. Remember that first time he, when he just fucking knocked the guy out? That was back in the 70s when you can do that. <laughs> there weren't, there, you know, he just fucking knocked him out. He was like, I'm going to do it. And I'm like, fuck you. That's, like, that's a real I hero. I can't have him listen to this podcast now. No, but the funny thing, no, 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 Why? He didn't like oh, doing no, he's that. Gonna get, he gets so pumped up about he it. Likes he loves, he it. loves punching he, people. He will hey. love everything that you're saying will fucking. He's a real he's Andy right? Dick. <laughs> He's By the great. way, uh, the way he plays it, no one's moving that Volkswagen, so I'm going to go out and key it in a second. <laughs> yeah, we got to move it. I got to. Uh oh, he really will. I mean, you do. <laughs> Thanks, Andy. Thanks. Uh, but back to my medical question. <laughs> She's like, how do you not? Because your babies that were born at the same time, how do they not have your DNA like in a in a hologram? They're just going like they either are or aren't identical twins. That's the thing I don't understand. It's like you guys slip through the slats of an Orwellian. I don't uh, know. No, this is what happens when you're born in the South. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Um, well, speaking yeah. of which, you guys were born. So you guys are like, like you're in the you're in the thirty. Uh, I won't betray your you're thirty ish. Um, yeah. uh, you're, you 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 the the, the you're, th- that's th- that's the new young. Um, uh, you're you're being nostalgic in this show for a time that didn't actually like. For me, that's I what I keyed it. There's no guarantee that the person's in this room. Like they had no right to do that. Well, like, he should have went out and fucking moved it. No, because he does might be a block away. He doesn't know that you want his car moved. Oh. Mm. Uh, the. Uh, that's when I was like 10 years old and it's like filled with like all these memories for me but you guys are like uh, you know you're 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 fondly recalling a, a, a time in cinema really like it's, it's like your favorite movies when you were kids right yeah it's we- it, yeah I think it's just from it, it, it's weird because it's it's part of it is our childhood we did you know we're hanging out with our friends and doing nerdy stuff and going on adventures and then the other so that was a huge part of our childhood and the other part was watching these VHS tapes over and over again and so it all becomes like a blur when I look back on it it's just a blur those were my favorite movies and so, and, so, and, and were they yeah. better then I mean a big, because like so that kind of I always felt like this thing is like I felt like there was a, it was it was the movies were better like, like there, there was they're always yeah they're always better yeah but 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 you guys are younger enough than me that if that weren't true because you, that you guys would just be fondly recalling like clueless or something, you know that you that you'd be like that's our ET, and I'd be like, well, okay, and feeling like a curmudgeon, like I guess we just yeah. all melt and die, and, th- and and think that when we were ten there was a golden age of cinema. But you guys are kind of like that's true. confirming yeah. that in the eighties there was like a joy there. I think that John Carpenter really represents because here's a guy who like like did his own music for his own horror movies and like yeah. like, like um and it, that, that that synth. Feel and the, 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 the yeah, well, they live we, in yeah the... we didn't think about them as like old movies though I mean we they felt very modern to I didn't watch the Goonies and I wasn't like oh this is like an old movie it, is, it felt very current to me mm-hmm. so I didn't differentiate the only thing that I didn't experience it theatrically that was the only thing but it felt very it felt very new to me so I didn't I did didn't you ever think become conscious we responded to before you got to this point was there a point where you guys were like oh I think we're 80s files I, 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 like we should... no no, 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 good. No, 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 no not at all. Short no. answer. No, not at all. It makes me nervous actually being associated that much. Right. I feel like I, a lot of people know a lot more about it than we do. Winona knows a lot more than we do. <laughs> She's like, it wasn't she, like this. Just keep talking. I, no, it's just she talks You're on about, camera. Yeah, she just has, she knows so much. She's just into weird, like, every movie. Like, she mentioned these movies. I feel like I know a lot of movies, and I don't know what the hell she's talking. Like, I don't even know what and movie you, she's talking about. And I go on IMDb or whatever. It has, like, 700 votes. Like, it's like no one has seen she, it except, she, cut. except Winona. Is that her thing? Is she, is she like, a cinephile? She or watches is she so much. She watches everything. so much. And most of it's, like, 80s to 90s. Like it's like weird, but um, yeah, yeah. Like I don't know if you even know. Like Audrey Rose, it's like she's obsessed with this. No Anthony idea. Hopkins 
thing. Yeah. It's like a bad, uh, it's like an exorcist rip off that they did in the eighty two. But she's like, you got to see Audrey Rose. I'm like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to watch Audrey Rose. Like, and it was like that for three months, and I finally watched it. I was like, I, I don't know. But then, <laughs> <laughs> it was like, if she if she says you got to watch Martin Scorsese's Dracula, just say no. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking yeah. Um, that's a good soundtrack, though. The uh, what, which, 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 what, what, what's Matthew Modine like? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he gave the weirdest interview yesterday. It was like in Forbes, and he was talking about how upset he was um, that people were calling him evil because of the character he played in the show. Because when we were shooting the show, I just let him. Oh well, well, yeah. <laughs> he thought he was being sympathetic, like he thought he was, but everything he was doing that he thought was sympathetic was really creepy, and um, and so we just let it go, right? <laughs> like, like it's like like with Eleven, like when he um, touches her nose, right? And you know, I was just Ross and I just looked and we're like, ooh, uh. <laughs> and we're like, yeah, yeah, let's go, let's go, let's do it. it I wasn't masn't a direction. It, it wasn't, wasn't a, a direction. Her no, nose. or like, or like, <laughs> no. He just said no. He goes, I'm going to touch her nose like this, like point, and we're like, haha. And then he, we do the first take, and he does it, and we're like, oh shit, he was, re- he was, he was, that was actually. I thought he was doing he was saying he wasn't but joking around because he has like so, and I know he was concerned. He's like, Brenner has like ten lines in the in the whole thing. He's not very. He doesn't have a lot, and so it's him finding these. He's making these these weird choices anytime he's on screen because he knows he only has <laughs> he's a certain like he, like I was like what is that accent you're doing like what is that he's like I don't know what what accent yeah, it'll give her the flat I'm not doing an accent I'm like there's something like, like I can't figure it out what is it he's like I don't know there's nothing <laughs> um, but like it fucking worked it cut through you know I, 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 I kind call. of like that's everything I wanted to hear about Matthew Modine <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. like I because I, I'm thinking like like if I quantum leaped into Matthew Mo- and I, and I I look in the it mirror and I'm be, like, I see Matthew Modine and yeah. I go, oh boy, and that's the episode of Quantum Leap. I would spend that episode, I'd be like, how, you know, how the fuck do you break out of being Matthew Modine, man? It's like, it's kind of like an invitation to just like oh, yeah. take it as it lays, man. Like, like, like I like, I want to think that he's like some kind of weird, oh, like, he he's, that he's, uh, yeah, but he's really interesting and he is, I mean, and then his full metal jacket stories, because he was there for, and a lot of people, you, know, you made a Kubrick years. movie, you're like, there ten years. Yeah, yeah, and a lot of people, that. a lot of people associate that like that. You know, it, that was right when he was like the most desired in Hollywood, and he's gone for two years. You sign a new Kubrick movie, you're gone forever. You sign your life away. Like there's no, there's no end date. You and know? then at the end of it, Kubrick says, "Now put film in the camera." <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever hear that story? <laughs> The Shining. Uh, it's a, yeah, he shoots you. Is it like Shelley Shelley Duvall or uh, Shelley Duvall? Shelley like Shelley Duvall. Yeah, Shelley Long. Yeah. Cheers, by the way, Shelley I Duvall. meant Francis Ford Coppola's Dracula. But right. Uh, I like it when the trains nightmare. riding over the top of the book. Uh, but yeah, I said, he, he like dro- he drove. He, he made her do no, a he, thousand takes until she was the, going out of her he mind. He fucks with them. He gets what, to what yeah. what he needs out of them. He, he does it. Uh, yeah. All right. So anyway, well, I cut you off. Like now, I have something to say. No, I don't. Yeah. It's, Jesus, you should have kept talking. Uh, what do you guys think of garage doors? Um, <laughs> the, 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 okay, so, so, wait, did his character, I can't even remember, did he, did he, because I remember him being not as scared as he should be that his neck would get telekinetically snapped. Like, I remember, oh, I remember yeah, him yeah. walking down the hall and like, and she's like, snap, snap. And they're like, their necks are like, snap, snap. And then he's like, hey, take it I easy. I didn't know she was, I didn't know she was going to do that. I mean, like, we weren't. Wait, she- no, you, telekinesis isn't real. You can't pretend. <laughs> You're like doing like the thing they did on behind the scenes on Gremlins 2. And they're like, oh, Mogwai wants his coffee. Oh, come on. St- don't insult us. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't try to conjure that part of the 80s. <laughs> uh, we're, we're savvy people. It's Los Angeles. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> she didn't. She wasn't supposed to have mental powers. <laughs> It's, it's, it's clearly a show about a monster from the upside down. Like, uh, that's enough. Like, it was, uh, you know, adding her was weird. <laughs> she showed up. She was bald. She snapped people's necks. And we put her in the moon. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you guys are kind of famously... I mean, so, so what was the... the you, you're, you, it was, it's an overnight thing. Like, I don't know if that offends you to say that, because you probably... You, 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 there's maybe a trail of, like, very hard work. I'm sure you didn't come out of a dumpster and walk into Netflix, but... Correct. <laughs> 
that. It's, it's, it might be insulting to you guys when people are no, celebrating. No, no, no. Like, Who are these guys? Where'd they come from? But where did you come from? What? <laughs> What 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 was what, take us take us from birth to the night uh, before you sell this pitch? From birth, yeah, uh, we, just uh, real quick. We, we already we already focused on the birth for a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. well, well uh, yeah. Uh, I think well, we've always want we've since I think we got a well, we got our high A camera yeah. and it was third grade and we started making movies then and we always knew uh, we wanted to do we wanted to make movies. And then, and we went to film. So it's so, so yeah. high, high eight was like, that's so high, analog. Like yeah, it's yeah no, I mean, tape. we weren't You're editing. Like, we had like, you know, we had, we had a cassette two tape and we had Danny, you know, we were playing Danny Elfman. Like our first movie, it was like a Magic the Gathering adaptation, which like now Hollywood yeah. read that, you know, they read that and they're like, oh, the fucking Duffers want to do. I'm like, that was fourth grade. <laughs> I mean, like, I don't, or third grade. I don't want to do it now. Um, but yeah, so yeah. And then we did that. And then when you we, guys we, edited yeah. with high eight, you, did you, you no, had to we use just two. cutting camera. I mean, oh, okay. just cutting camera. And then, and then eventually we got because there wasn't. Uh, then there was like a two, dual VHS editing thing. And then, and then when we were in high school. iMovie came out, which was great. And that, you know, we learned on iMovie. And then we went to, and then we went to film school, and we made some bad stuff. And then, and then, and then, and then we wrote our first script, which got us an agent. And then, where was then, film school? Just I was at Chapman University okay. in Orange County. Oh, by the way, we have a lot of Columbia alum here. Oh yeah, Columbia yeah. College, which, oh, yeah. where you and Andy went. Yeah, yeah, I, uh, yeah, I dropped out, but. It's so it's okay because as you can hear from the applause, they're not a famously proud school. <laughs> yeah, that what you, what you just heard is called the Columbia <laughs> the Columbia War Chair. Crime. Yeah, <laughs> they're a stealth college. Uh, anyways, sorry. Uh, no, 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 I, 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 don't, I don't even know how we. I, I mean, you know, there's. I mean, it's just a series of reje- I mean, everyone. You, it's a series of rejection, rejection, rejection. I mean, it's like even film school. It's like USC didn't want us, and what you didn't want. You like, couldn't get anywhere. Like, so you just uh, we wound up at Chapman, and we just you just kept. Writing and we were like, we need to write our way in because no one's going to give us anything. I, I think, think that before was the only... we went to college, is this sense of like we're going to make this amazing short film mm-hmm. and they're going to give us you know this you're giant gonna movie it. You're and then you're, swingers it. Yeah, you're going to yeah, yeah exactly and the then old you, festival mindset. Yeah, but yeah. then it, you realize how how hard that how is. dead that like, dream if, is. If yeah. any festival, every festival is rejected. I mean, like it's, so you just get you just the good thing is there's two of us so we like delusional together and then we just keep. You know, keep going at it. And then, do you guys and then, pump each other up? Or are you? Are, are, are you is bring, the down, bring each other down. Yeah. Pump us up, each other. Up. You, so, well, okay, yeah. well, that okay. So the, how it's does both. that work? Like, how does that like? Is it, uh, like a, is it like if one of you is up, the other is it balances and says, "Let's not get caught." I, th- I think, it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. If he's being like a yeah, if he's being obnoxious or vice versa, I say like you're being a douche, you know, or like or you sounded like a douche or in that, that, in that, that, that sounded really or, nice, Ross, you know, or whatever. Yeah. I mean, whatever. So I guess that's what we do. And, and then, um, but you guys have had moments. You 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 got a uh, season two, or was that, there was, must have been some moment when you went out to your uh, black Volkswagen. Oh shit! <laughs> uh, fuck. They famously uh, and 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 closed the doors, and both of you, neither of you, was telling the other one not to get cocky anymore. Like you guys, do you make out when that happens? Is that okay? I was gonna ask you, did you guys ever jack off together? Or? <laughs> yeah. right. Well, that out in the heels of okay, yeah. it feel, it feels real coming from us, I guess. Uh, those questions, uh, we don't have to wait for an answer. The answer is no. The answer's I'm gonna yeah. wait. Mm. <laughs> I'm gonna be here all night. But you get? Do you guys collectively both go up, way up, and ever go way I would both say, down? Yeah, I'd say so. Yeah. yeah, I think we go up. And, yeah, yeah, because the stuff's not going wrong, it's not going right. We just you know attach each other. It's bad. It's not. I mean, it's not. I mean, it depends. Uh, but uh, here's a, uh, uh, This might be a. I forgive you if you want to just lie about the answer to this because it's like it's not a charismatic question to answer honestly. If depending on the answer, because I was just having this conversation with somebody else where I was. I don't like like. Do you guys think? Did you think before you uh, crossed that threshold where it was like, "All right, we got it. Now we're taken care of, regardless of of what's supposed to be." Like this, you, you you'll be working for a while now. You're fine. Um, and uh, but before that, there's a time of like, as most people experience, it's like, uh, "Am I supposed to? Am I, are we not supposed to be doing this? Are we supposed to wash dishes?" In that yeah. phase, which is which most people experience for much longer of their lives than the other stuff, me included, like I've, I have more memories from that that time. During that time, 
reward my candor. Yeah. Uh, during that time, I just kept assuming it was going to work out. Yeah. Is, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, I don't yeah. know if that's no, no, white male no, no, privilege no, or if I that's. Mean, no, I, I say like it's it, like I, I like make fun that we're, we were delusional, but very delusional. Like you just, knew, I just felt that it was going to work. Uh, you have to. Keep but there reached. I think the, actually the weird thing is the six. It only we have only found any success at all when it was pure panic because we didn't know what else we were going to do and we were out of money and it was just like we're fucked and like I don't even think you know I remember like walking by Starbucks and being like I don't. Those priest jobs are like hard to get, man. Like I don't know. Yeah. Like that's everyone. Yeah, no, we everyone were, we wants to worry about. Co- it. Co- I, I Cody's roommate. Coffee. Cody's roommate's job is she. Uh, she uh, goes to Costco, and she she doesn't even work for Costco. That job's hard to get. She works for a yeah. lotion company because she goes. So she goes to Costco and says, "Like, is one of those people at Costco that's like, hey, do you want to try some lotion for free?" She works on commission. Like, I don't even know how it's legal. Like, it's, it's, it's just sort of like 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 she she might make zero dollars in a day. Like, it's like, anyways, bad economy. Okay, so uh, or best one ever, but it's like fucking fragmented. Uh, the, the, but okay, why did I get derailed of that? But I, I yes, yes, those the fucking like like there's that I. I I used to go like, oh man, I'm gonna have to move back to Milwaukee, and then and then so I remember saying that out loud to somebody, and somebody was like, "Is there someone in Milwaukee waiting for you to come back?" Like, and 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 I and for that time only, I was like, "No, God, no!" And I was like, "But I just kind of kept like, it's delusional, it's and delusional. I yeah. I can't figure out. I was I was in the shower this morning. You're welcome. Uh, <laughs> and I was thinking about that, like like. Uh, I was like, is that is that a good quality or a bad quality? Because it's kind of like re- reconciling that with the whole kind of cultural awareness now that we're having. It's like, are we just fucking douchey privileged people? It's like, like that's that's, yeah. that's just a symptom of of luxury of like, of a, like well, yeah, like you wait a couple of years and another white dude helps you out. Yeah. <laughs> I, so like, 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 I, don't, I, don't, I don't I don't think it happens like that. Let me be real clear here. I think it's hard work and nothing else. <laughs> No, no handouts and, and, for anybody. And if your skyscraper's the second tallest now, just wait. And one day, <laughs> it's going to be the tallest, and it's going to be because you worked hard, because <laughs> you sacrificed. Spencer, we found out Spencer he knows what he's talking about. I mean, this guy—he's like on two shows as an actor. He's executive producing, and he's your chauffeur. Yeah. <laughs> and how does that happen? The guy works hard. Yeah. Uh, hard work. The the okay. So you're, you guys are you guys are in the writer's room right now working on season yeah. two so the things that we're allowed to know are because you would watch that I watch a show called Stranger Things I watch it for ten episodes it's serialized uh, for all I know in keeping with a John Carpenter tradition or something like that that the second season is going to be like Hey, it's called Stranger Things. You know, it's like True Detective, and it's like, like, like all of a sudden, yeah. it's like 1973 in Detroit, and they're like, <laughs> hey, my name's my name's Roger McClintock, and I've seen Stranger Things than the case I'm on. You know, and like, she says she's a witch, but I don't believe in the only thing I believe in is my revolver, and uh, and, and and everyone's either booing or cheering, but th- that's not the case. I know that from talking to you guys, and yeah. the public knows you guys are. Like it's these characters. It's Winona and her kids, and the <laughs> and 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 now even Stranger Things will happen. Yeah, we wanted we wanted to see it as like it's like a year later, and we're trying to treat as much as we can, even though it's a scary word. Treat it like a sequel, just because there aren't very many good ones, but the good mm-hmm. ones are really good, right? And so the hope is that you got to have a million Stranger Things come down, and then have Space Marines be like lock and load. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> There's 20 upside downs. <laughs> Why don't you put her in charge? Uh, it's aliens. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> but did you guys know? Like, like, did you you, 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 know, you watch Halloween and then you watch Halloween two? When you're a kid, I mean, you guys were kids when you saw it too, I'm sure. But yeah. when I was a kid, it was like it was happening kind of. It's like watch Halloween. It was like the original. It's like the, oh, the birth of Michael Myers. You watch Halloween two. Oh, it's the sequel. It picks up where it left off. But now he's killing people in the hospital with a scalpel. And then you watch Halloween three. It's called Season of the Witch, oh, the and it's worst. about like a, a microchip in the back of a mask, and there's a mad toy manufacturer that wants to enact a Celtic uh, tradition, and <laughs> and you always think when you're a consumer back then, I was I was like, who? How could they not understand? But then you, but 
now you've probably already experienced enough to understand like of course that happens because every nothing happens like the way it should like like the decisions that are made aren't happening the, John Car- John Carpenter did a an interview like and he was like well we did Halloween it was like this amazing movie our plan the entire time was going to be to always do a new movie every Halloween that's all we wanted to do uh... it was going to be an anthology. It was like he didn't he didn't even want Halloween to be so successful that Halloween two was demanded to the point where I don't even think he worked on it. I don't think he was allowed to. I don't even know like I like 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 that it was like 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 oh yeah someone else will take care of this because it's just fucking money is pouring out. It's like when you hit oil and it's just in the movies and it's just gushing out. And you're like where's all that oil going? And it's like yeah exactly motherfucker get some <laughs> barrels over here. Oh! <laughs> That's what's happening with you guys, right? I mean, you you can, you can say yes to that without vilifying anybody. Yeah. It's just like that's that is the state of the union. Like you guys didn't expect. Yeah, but like Netflix was, they didn't invest in it. Going, this is going to be a one year. Th-. Like it was always going to be planned to be, you know, keep going. So right. We had we had to go in with that mindset that it, that was the, that that was the intention. But do you think keep going. do you think that their attitude changed at all about like like based on I don't even know well who even yeah. knows what numbers they look at but I don't know we what, don't I mean, know yeah. no we don't know I mean they really honestly don't tell us and like so I mean we're just trying to do I mean it's really scary I mean I don't know I mean now like never before have we been in a position where anyone cared about what we were doing. Like, <laughs> like, so, I, I, like, yeah, which is it's like a huge terrifying. luxury I've realized though you know what I mean like because it comes from much more pure place and now there's like all this noise and I'm like you know I'm like neurotic and I'm thinking about what other people are going to think about it I'm like that's bad that's bad that's bad I gotta stop doing that and do you guys that. have each other to turn to yeah, for like, that yeah stop or... thinking about that and then you know and then you know and then and then we're just trying as much as possible to just write you know what we think is cool uh, and what we want to see and not worry about like longevity or franchisability or any of that shit and just like just write a cool second season and then and then and then worry about the rest later which is not necessarily how everyone wants us to be doing it but i think it's the best thing and i think it's going to result you know in the best in the best thing but i i don't know because i see all these filmmakers i admire and they mess up on sequels and and you know like netflix doesn't even like us talking about sequels because mm-hmm. it makes them nervous because there's so many bad ones. So, but but it's just it's not a traditional. But it's a TV, TV it's, show. I mean, no, but it's not like, traditional though. And that like it ends like it ends. Right. Like we built because uh, it you know it built a climax and it and it ends and the main tension is resolved. So, so do like, you, it's, it's different. Do you think when you say that they're nervous about the sequel thing, do you think what what they? What they're more, it's more like the no, word it's, sequel. It's more like the right. word but sequel. We like using it just because we like seeing it as. Yeah, this it's you know a, a new tension that then also gets resolved. It's always important to us like not to do the killing thing in season one, where it's like we almost right. got Will, but oh, he's in. Oh no, he got snatched away by a right. larger demogorgon. Yeah, you know, and it's yeah. like oh, we gotta go <laughs> get that. It's like we all we want to do different. We want to do new, different stuff. You know, yeah. and so I, I don't know. I don't know. But, What's but the we're way? excited about it. As long as we're excited about it, I feel like we're we're fine. We're good. Can you describe the worst version of the show? Uh, <laughs> the worst version of season two as you see it in the eyes of uh, the person that wants the worst thing for the show. <laughs> I mean, no, 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 <laughs> like the I, thing I that is your worst yeah. nightmare. Like no, no, the thing. I know, like, I know. It's, like, it's, it's sort of the, it's the, like, because I love, I love Home Alone. It was one of my favorite movies, right? So, but when I was like a kid uh, and, and Home Alone 2 came out, I, like I was like eight or whatever. I was like, what the fuck is this? It's like, <laughs> Uh, it's the exact same thing. They've just slotted in the pigeon lady for the shovel guy. And right. F- <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> like, Do you think like, that's, that's, I mean, like, this so is bullshit. Is that your worst nightmare? That's, or yeah, worst? that's the worst nightmare. Is so the, is instead of like be... communicating, like 11's lost in the upside down, they have to try to communicate with well, her. Why not 12? And 11 starts, you know, and when Ona starts to communicate with magnets, right. the magnets right. start right. to move. And like, that's like, that's my worst nightmare of the show. <laughs> like, I'm not interested in that at all. But and do you I, think I, you, I bet you can't answer this question honestly because yeah. it, 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 it's like I, the question I want to ask is, is it, like do you actually think because I think I, Netflix is justifiably like deified right now I mean they're like kind of beyond HBO at their yeah. still going peak because at HBO you could kind of there was it was still born from a uh, non Silicon Valley model, and so now like Netflix has combined the prestige of HBO and the success of 80s NBC with the like 
fuck you, we're doing it different and we're not sharing our thought process of Silicon Valley. And it's yeah. kind of like terrifying and titillating. I love it. Like, I, 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 yeah, I, I love it. It gets a little boring hearing pitches, like having a little shitty studio in Burbank and every time you hear a pitch, you're kind of like, so where should we take this out? Netflix? I, it's like, yeah, well, that's like saying, I'd like to be on TV, please. <laughs> It's kind of like back. You're all of a sudden you're yeah. back to being ten years old, but I think it's a good thing. And I, anyways, but 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 yeah. I guess what I was going to ask, but you can't answer this, is do you really think that they? Do you think that they would want to see that formulaic like plugged in thing? Or I don't. I mean, ultimately, I mean, I I do honestly believe they that they are they're banking on us. And then like if I make if I make an you know they're not they're not writing the show. So if I make I make you know compelling I, I make an argument I explain why we want to do what we want to do they back us right. and so like and I, I mean, it's so crazy they it's did crazy this in the they first backed place. us in the first place. I don't know why yeah. I still don't know why it's crazy <laughs> so yeah I mean yeah it was nuts because we we not only like went in and pitched it and say we want to sh- show run it we had no. I mean, there's no reason anyone would let us should let a show run anything, and we then, never show run or and our we only never movie run. was literally dumped. Like, like no he, one saw it. Like it's un. I still don't understand. I mean, I think I think Andy it, Dick had something to do with it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he has their ear. He has Netflix ear. No, so that's, might that's like, what I love. I feel like they're rebel, like I love the rebel spirit of the, like that they have. I don't want them to lose it. You know, I, I so and I hope that they don't. I mean, because that, that's what I think it's given them so much success. So I, I just hope they keep doing it. I hope they keep making crazy fucking decisions yeah like, like our show yeah and i don't know if they're that crazy i think it's a, the, the the funny thing about tv that i've watched happen is that the definition of crazy and like breaking the mold it it's practical it's 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 basically algorithmic because the algorithm of television until such time as they make a computer that can write and direct television yeah. the algorithm suggests that the smart thing to do as like fx would say like 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 the guy whose ass i kissed the most uh, john landgraf like when he talks about tv he goes like I, we don't know how to make good TV. We, we, we what we know works is statistically if you just like make deals with people that you like and you kind yeah. of like it's like it's, there's no what, you just have to like keep making it and then the good stuff like works and the bad stuff doesn't. It's like there's a it's the same as in physics where it's like everybody worked from making weird shit up to justify Newtonian stuff, like call Newton's laws the Nielsen's maybe. Uh, and, it, and it's just like, well, why is, if, if an apple falls and hits your head, which makes perfect sense, then how come when you turn a flashlight on in a train car, the light hits the thing? And like, oh, that's easy. There's a boogeyman. Um, and then Einstein is like, what if blah, blah, blah. And everyone's like, no. Um, the And that's me, Einstein. The No, it's John Landgraf. No, it's, ugh, fuck it. Um, I'm drunk. Where's Andy? The, 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 anyways, I, I like the algorithmic. I, I love the possibly apocryphal story of them going, uh, of how House of Cards was like, people keep, you know, they, they did a spreadsheet and it said Kevin Spacey and, and uh, political thrillers equals blah, blah, blah. The, even if that's not true, I, I don't mind oh, living in that world. you're punching shit in. I know. I mean, that's before I, I mean, they buy the, like, they, they run whatever numbers they run. I mean, I mean, I don't know what it is. They're plugging it into something. But it, Isn't that what we want, though? Because we're I, not Jackson Pollock. We, no. we want approval. We want to, and we want, yeah, yeah, we want yeah. to know yeah, it's that not we're like good we people because it. people It's not like, like it. we punched this in and said, oh, this would be good to write. We wrote what we were into, whatever. It no, it was a stupid out. thing to write, really. I mean, you're writing a show about. I mean, no one wanted to. to when we're pitching this around, you're, it's like it's their kids and they're chasing a monster, and they're like, so it's a kids show. And it's like, no, it's not a kids show. There's also this. You, you know what I mean? Like people right. that it was hard for people to comprehend. So it's not it, for us. It was not writing it from like let's sell this and make this hit show. It's like let's just try to write something that we want to see, and then hopefully, and then ne- we didn't even have whatever that Netflix. We should take it to Netflix. We didn't even like. I didn't even dare utter it because it's like there's no way. It just it just didn't even occur to me that that could be a possibility. Which oh like, like, like that, that we should take this and sell it to Netflix. Like I didn't mm-hmm. want to be an asshole and say that. It just felt so un- unrealistic. Well, where in God's earth did you think it would? be? I don't know. That's we my point. Know. We didn't know. <laughs> God, you guys' instincts are terrible. Uh, yeah. <laughs> did you think that would be an ABC? <laughs> it's fucking goofy. What did we? I mean, what did we? I don't know. We were just being. 
I honestly, it was really uh, naive. I don't, I don't know. know. I, 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 but yeah. So how did you take it to Netflix? What, what we, no, well, we, the weird thing is that yeah. we actually we because we were so not established, and then you know we we were working with a producer that we liked, Sean Levy, but he's a he's a film guy, he's not a TV guy. So it was it was basically it was a terrible package. It was a p- terrible television package, and so we were like, let's go around to studios, not actually to networks. Which you know they're you know they're the like you know like for instance a company called MRC helps fund House of Cards, but they don't you know and then and then Netflix airs it. They help pay for it. So we're like, let's get one of these people, and that'll make it a sexier package. And so we are going around doing that, and then. Mostly we were getting passes, we were getting a few interests, and then somehow Netflix heard about it. They were the only network or anything that we ever that we pitched to the whole time. Netflix just heard about it. Well, well no, no, no. They I, have whenever, whenever cameras I, no. everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, what, I mean, it was specifically, it was like a TV agent, like, at a breakfast pitching other shit to into the Netflix yeah. executive and him going, oh, we're looking for stuff. He's so for lucky. Like, They're for, like, yeah, yeah, wow. like, for like young adults, we're looking for super net. We like super and 80s films do really well for 80, us. Like, it was just yeah, luck. Yeah, like, oh, they t- talking luck. about the shit in their algorithm, I think, wow. that they're looking for. And he's like, well, I happen to have this thing. We have two studios who want it. He's like, give it to me now over the weekend. And then it happened really fast. And I think it helped. You know how things work? Like you can't get that first bite, but then once – one person is interested in it and it's suddenly like oh it's a thing right. like oh people yeah. like this like, like, like it's legitimate like yeah. it's legitimate We because we had like 12, 15 passes and then one person bought it and then suddenly everyone's like oh my god this is amazing I was like it didn't change in a week like it's like someone just liked one people person so fucking, one person liked it yeah, and then so it's a snowball yeah. effect so and then uh, and, and during that while I was having that snowball effect someone at Netflix heard about it um, so what was, okay so the immediate audience here, I don't know if it's still a thing, but everybody's going like, okay, so what do I do? <laughs> like, like, and I never know how to answer that question. Well, you, uh, yeah. you obviously, you make something that you love and hope it just gets out That's because for us, at least for us, Sorry, we, for, yeah, for so long, yeah, we were, no, that's what you're saying. We were yeah. writing stuff that, like, we thought, like, we'd meet with these producers or, or whatnot, and they were like, this is what we're looking for. But the weird like thing paranormal is, activity, you, know? you guys are directors yeah. and writers, but yeah. you did come to a point, which is a little, yeah. uh, there's a, there's a, there's a way to look at this in a disheartening way, which is that because directors shoot stuff and writers write kind of documents suggesting you shoot yeah. stuff later, and you and you guys made a decision to pull out of the shooting of stuff, yeah. which is that advice, which is Channel 101, which is like, hey man, yeah, do what you're gonna do if you're allowed to do anything, and me me me, and you guys were like, yeah, let's not make short films anymore, let's like let's write scripts, and that'll be the path. It, I don't know. Like, it, uh, it, 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 uh, well, are we going to? Are we telling these kids to go in their backyard and shoot shoot home movies? Or are we telling them to run over their keyboards? I mean, I, I know that the simple answer is if you want to be a writer, run over your keyboards. But you guys are auteurs. What, tell the auteurs what to do. Uh, <laughs> no, no, I mean, I know. I think you do both. I mean, I think it's super. I mean, first of all, though, I, I never understood that advice of like, oh, go shoot. Maybe you can do it now. But it was like, oh, you, anyone can go make stuff. I, when these filmmakers were talking, like, anyone can go make stuff now. It's so cheap. It's like, no, it's not. Like, it's fucking expensive. That always made me mad. Like, you just go make something. It's like, just to get good audio you know, is expensive. Audio is okay? the hardest thing. Like, it's expensive, you know, audio and getting the lights and getting the people together. And, like, it's, it ends up being, like, a big endeavor. So, it, like, always made me mad that it's so easy now with technology that anyone can just go out and make something. It's like, it's not true. And if you're not in individual effects, which we're not, we don't know shit about visual effects. Like, it's not, you're not going to make, there's no, there's zero chance of making something that's going to get you in the door. Like, that's just my. Well, no, there's like those Sundance movies that are shot on an iPhone or whatever. Like, you can, I think that is a route. I think for us, it's a yeah, hard not, route that most, it does not, it's honestly one of the hardest routes, I think, which is to make those films and, and hope it gets into those festivals and hopes that the, the percentage that that is is so small. So it was us doing a little bit of. Yeah, okay, but even math, like Tangerine is yeah. like. Over a hundred thousand dollars. I mean, yeah, it's, it's like not you cheap. It's not you like a, you're you not don't gonna, you don't have twenty. You don't have fifty dollars in your pocket. But I think what and what we realized is that in a part of this was because you know when we were we were at Chapman, you're going around and we're interning at these production companies, and you're reading these scripts, right? And these are scripts that are from people that you know we saw had representation. A lot of this stuff was they were getting paid to write this stuff, and it's not very. A lot of it's not very good. 
uh, a lot of these scripts in, in Hollywood ne- in needs content. Everyone needs content. So it's us going, if we can teach ourselves how to do this, right. then, you know, I think there's at least like a, will be a crack in the door that we can get through. I do really believe, and maybe it's super naive, but I feel like if you, because the minute, we, once we wrote something, I actually deep down thought was actually okay, like it kind of worked, it's, it ended up, ended up eventually selling. Which like, like, because I knew the other stuff that we had written. Like, I knew, I just knew. I mean, I just like if I was really, really honest with myself, I knew mm-hmm. it wasn't it wasn't good enough. And then when we and we got to that place, and I thought it was good enough, it ended up selling. So I feel like, I feel like if you if you, if you fail enough and and you you yeah, you try enough and I, I don't know. That's at least that's what worked for us. I mean, we 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 fumbled around for so long. So we're saying that the internet is has become such a glut that actually truly and I I. I, I I'm not going to agree with this yet, but 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 what's on the table yeah. is the idea that whereas in 19 or right, well 2002 when I was spouting it the most, like you know, you want to make a TV show, you have a camera in your pocket, grab it, fuck the audio, make the TV show, put it online, keep doing it, keep doing it, keep doing it, talent will out. That we've actually hit a point. Maybe the th- the theory would be. We've hit a point where it's like there's too much shit and the internet is oxygen. It is just the air around us and and it's no more shocking that anybody in this room is it knows how to make a video about two people farting and, and flying in the flying saucer uh, than it is to it is just like it's it, it doesn't matter. There's too much shit to click on and everyone's got too much shit going on. And like you like so we focus on scripts as a document because it's sort of like part of the old world and we like write up our idea of like fade in on this and cut to that and this is our idea is that because the agency mechanism is still in control like Maybe. that it's still I, I mean I think that can I think what you're saying I mean I think people are doing that where they're making that stuff and it's cutting through I just think it's so percentage wise right it's got to be pretty low I mean, because there's, like you said, there's just so much. It's also just kind of random. I don't know what's going on on YouTube. Like, I don't understand some of the stuff. No, because you'll, because I'm, you know, I'm not even on Twitter, but on, you know, we're, we'll, you know, I was searching Twitter to see what people are saying about the show, and, you know, you click on these people, and they got, like, 10 million followers, and I was like, I don't know who this YouTube star is. Yeah, yeah, so I feel like there's a, I, I'm so we should like not about, be talking about this. We shouldn't be talking about it. Yeah, I, I don't know. Right, that's yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, maybe you, you, yeah, okay. Yeah, we shouldn't be talking about it. I think the world agrees. Yeah, let's all, let's all stop talking about it. <laughs> let's talk about race. I think that, <laughs> all right. If your eyes can really pop out. Uh, the, that was craziness. Oh, how many, well, how many episodes are you doing? Season two? Nine. Oh, okay. Which is weird, weird but it, it's great. It's a little I, warning shot. What, what's a warning shot? Is it one less than the first season? Well, no, one, one more. Oh, okay, okay. It's a little uh, gummy bear. It's, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's a little... Uh, <laughs> filled with NyQuil. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it, I don't know. It's a weird time to be doing this because it's, it's one of the first times that I can think of that you can, you can come up with an idea and you can go, well, this is... You know, this is how long this story is. It's five and hours and thirty minutes and twenty seconds, and that's just how it is. And you can actually, you can actually put that out. And I don't know if I can't think of another instance. I mean, usually you're you're writing to commercials or you're writing right. to, you know, you know, why are movies two hours? You know, is it like because you have to pee? I'm still is trying that, to adjust to all this because I, I, yeah, I just can't. I, well, yes, it's it's, 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 yeah, it's based on some kind of thing, and the, that's the same with the twenty-two minutes, the forty-five minutes. I'm. I, I'm raised in front of Cheers watching TV, and so I come up in the 21st century, and I'm like this craftsman, and I'm gonna, I'm like, like, oh, uh, this other show is shittier than mine because it's doing serialized storytelling, and that's a cheap tactic. Uh, and the, and the, and now I'm in this world where it's like, hey, old man, like this isn't serialized. Hello, and, and, and I'm like, oh, sorry, I'll try to serialize it for you. <laughs> But and as I, I try to like shake it, like as I'm like it 
feel it's it's sad. It, it just reminds me of like the the SNL sketch where Dana Carvey was playing Johnny Carson in a post Arsenio world who had had his fingers elongated because Arsenio has long fingers, so it was called Carsenio, and it was D- Dana Carvey doing Arsenio as uh, uh, Johnny Carson and going like, Ugh, woof, 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 woof. That's how I feel when I think about serializing something that I'm writing. Like, oh, this is going to be binge worthy and all this stuff. It's like, wait, you, I feel like I'm purposely, I can't tell when I'm stooping, when I'm evolving, and when I should just retire. And like, 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 it's like, well, if I, I, I don't, that serialization thing is like a big fucking weird mind fuck for me. Yeah. Yeah, but that's because you're growing. I mean, because we just grew, we're different because we grew up on, and I didn't grow up on t- watching much TV to be honest. So we grew up on on movies and and movie structures. So that's kind of what I think that's what drew us to it. And also because the movie industry is so sad. Like we try to get into the movies, and it was just it was you know it's depress a little depressing right now. And there was so much in TV. And whenever we went to, to TV meetings, or even not just with producers who did movies and TV, they're like, well, what are your TV ideas? What are your TV ideas? Because they need content so desperately. Are that's you guys what just actually taking a movie to and to breaking it up? And yeah, we're just like yeah, yeah. That's basically. What we're I mean, doing. is that why the guy goes, uh, the, the cop guy goes to the lab, and then he's like, oh man, there's a lab here, and then they like knock him out, and then he wakes up, and he's like, back to being a cop. <laughs> <laughs> is it? That's more like us running ourselves into a hole. And then being like, <laughs> well, that's what I mean. Kind yeah. of, it's like he's like, well, that's you can't go forward with that or the movie no yeah it's done (laughs) it's done yeah I mean really it's almost like it's like four movies I mean it's eight it's like a Lord of the Rings like when when I I was like Lord of the Rings great one book one movie three awesome 11 years of our lives and (laughs) and then they're like now let's do the Hobbit I'm like what (laughs) as three movies I'm like so one of your movies is going to be about riding barrels like for sure (laughs) and sure enough in fact it was like like, let's ride these barrels (laughs) and and they're like watch out it's the barrel wizard what I'm the barrel wizard. Would you like to keep riding the barrels? Uh... But it's, it's uh, but yeah, because it, it, okay. So well, right, at the outset of season two, do you guys, do you guys, did, did you? Because you're already, I did you do an a, a, a whole like like okay, here's what's going to happen from yeah. beginning, middle, end in the whole season, and then you chopped it up like a little pie. Yeah, yeah, you pretty uh, essentially, yeah. I mean, but obviously, it 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 just keeps evolving and changing as you're going. Because once you get in there, I mean, what we found at least is I can't force these characters to do something. So sometimes we're trying to force someone to go in a direction, and it's like, well, they just don't want to do that. That feels stupid. And so then then it just keeps changing and evolving. But it, if we know where the end, it, where we're going, eventually, that's that's the goal. And the same thing with season two. It just keeps. It keeps evolving, but we know where we're. We know what that destination is. Can um, I pitch you guys something? Yeah, sure. You probably, you probably don't like when this happens, but it's not like I'm a waiter. I made Community. <laughs> <laughs> and I know you don't want to be pigeonholed as the '80s guys, but you, you know, Encyclopedia Brown. <laughs> yeah. Because I just want to make Encyclopedia Brown, but like Chinatown, like, <laughs> like, like he's the smartest kid on the block, which means he has Aspergers. But he's and he's like, it's hard for him to deal with people, but he can solve crimes. And it's like, but it's hardcore. Like the, so it's a, it's like the he's like a kid detective. Hey, who stole your bike? I found it out. It's the mystery of the missing bike. And then like every good film noir movie. He like some grown up comes to him in this garage detective agency, and he's like, you know, you just do it stylistically. Like this is why it's up your alley. You guys can it can be a Duffer Brothers thing. I'll just write it. Like you guys can, like I don't want to be famous anymore. I want to retire. So like 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 you guys like it's a Duffer Brothers presents Encyclopedia Brown, but for reals. And 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 so and so like a grown up comes in, like Michael Madsen comes into the garage, and then this like good kid actor that you guys find, and I don't have to deal with like like he's. He's like, he's like, he's like. Would you? Uh, we, we don't get many grown-ups in here, Mister uh, Smizzle, uh, Robert Smizzle. Uh, would you like a drink? I have a, you know, and because he he lives with his, you know, fuck Encyclopedia Brown. Don't give him any money. Like it's a, but it's based on that. We'll erase the part where I legally left a paper child. But like, 
But he's like, he's Encyclopedia Brown, and 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 so it's like, okay, mystery of the missing grapes. I got it. Well, the grapes were here, and there's more in because the hose was out before. And the, okay, good job. And uh, you got that bike back, and beat that bully. Here's your three carrots. Um, and, and, but then he like gets a grown up job, and it's like clearly, you know, as in it, he shows up, and there's a fucking dead body. <laughs> Like, he's supposed to just go somewhere and, like, oh, I, so I think there's a bike and I want you to get it back. And there's like, but it's like a grown up and he's like, I need a kid. There's like, kid can get in a doggy door. I can't, whatever his thing is. And then, but it's clearly, he's been set up. Like, he's supposed to witness the, he's, it's like, like the, he's being used and he's been, he's been fucking set up. That's the threshold you cross. Someone just fucked with Encyclopedia Brown. <laughs> Like, like, and, and, and he's like, "Fuck this!" Like, like, and he has this like voiceover. Like, I've, ne- I've always wanted to write something with voiceover. Like, but I, there's, it's, ne- it's like I always hate it, but it's like I, I'll, do, I'll do it. You guys direct it. Where he's like, just like, he's like, "Fucking somebody fucked with me today." Like, and I had a deal with society. It's like I'd be smart and keep my head down and help them solve their fucking mysteries, and they wouldn't fuck with me. But they just fuck, and they wouldn't use the f word this much. It's not a David Mamet play, but they, they, it's. I'm just saying, like, he's, he's the. I, Outrage! Like, like, he's like uncorked. He's like he's like a super genius, and it hurts to be this smart. And he lost his parents. It's like you ever see Zero Effect with Bill Pullman? Yeah. Like it's like 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 he it's like that, but a kid. He's fucking mentally unhinged. That's why he's so good at solving crimes. Or it's like Criminal Intent with D'Onofrio. Like it's like he's fucking like he's kind of twitchy and like and and there is like a girl like 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 what what was her name like Kimball or whatever Kimball like like there was a girl in Encyclopedia Brown who was like the muscle, but was like also like. His um, uh, his like uh, uh, Watson, but she was kind of like like she also was bigger because girls mature faster, so she could beat up Bugs Meany. Um, anyways, but he's like you know yeah. So there's like a little love story to it, but it's like, like, like so. But I'm just saying like fucking deep and dark, like Chinatown, like 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 Chinatown dark, but with a kid, yeah. and he's like he's been sucked into a grown up world of murder, and they're trying to play him, and he's like I've played this fucking role, and like now I'm like. Like now I gotta use my own like detective yeah. skills to like play with these grown ups and it's like badass, yeah. Like but, and it can be set in the eighties or not, but you guys will probably be like, We can't cause we don't be the eighties guys and I'll be like, Fine. <laughs> we'll do it like uh, it follows where like it's kinda it sort of, feels sort like of, the eighties, yeah. but then someone's got like a DVR or something. Yeah. <laughs> And you guys can be like, we're, we're, we're growing. And I'll be like... I, <laughs> so, like, you guys are into it. We'll, we'll, yeah, go, yeah, we'll, go, into it yeah. we'll go to Netflix, because every time I go there, I can't, I'm, like, buzzing, and I'm like, it's Dan Harmon. <laughs> Community. And they're like, I, what? what? Uh, I, and I, I went, yeah, so if I figure if I went in with you guys... Or you guys go in with that idea. <laughs> Have someone else write it. <laughs> Encyclopedia Brown, but there's like, yeah, there's a fucking b- pool of crusted blood on a carpet <laughs> on page 17. That's like, like and, then, and then it goes, wow, <laughs> It says Encyclopedia Brown, but for reals. In, in red neon. <laughs> With a like serif laden neon font, now you're into it. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> I see it. I get it. Uh, Do you guys like Lockout? That space movie is like Die Hard in space. Oh, the one that yeah. They ripped that off. I, I, mean, I guess it ripped off. This came from New York. They yeah. they sued him. I don't know. I mean, if they I, won that, yeah. yeah. He won. I know, but that's that's kind of weird to me. Like I, 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 I didn't. If you can sue for that, like. I'd be in big trouble. Like I felt like Zemeckis is going to be yeah, calling. Yeah, yeah. I saw like a Q and A with him, and they were talking to John Carpenter, and he, and he had someone who were like, "What do you think about these? You know, all these remakes of your movies?" He's like, "I lo- he loves them because he gets paid." Like, he gets paid. <laughs> oh, is he? Like, yeah. So I'm with Lockout. He's like, "Fuck this!" I'm they like, remade it for this. <laughs> like, you remade this, pay for this. Oh, sure that's why he's mad. That's why he sued. I'm sure. But it's just yeah. Yeah. okay. Yeah, I don't want. I don't, don't want to knock his point of view or or. I, I just. I don't know. Did you see it? Yeah, I did. And I thought it was that just. Guy Pierce. I thought it was Die Hard in space. I didn't. I didn't really. Th- I mean, I recognized devices used in Escape yeah. from New York, but I didn't think that those devices were the light bulb. I thought that they were kind of like. I don't know. I don't know. But, uh, I, I, now I feel like I'm going to get in trouble with people I admire. So. <laughs> 
I'll stop there. If John Carpenter you seen if you can rip off Encyclopedia Brown? Is that what? <laughs> yeah, this, uh, really? <laughs> I had a. I actually had a, th- There was a point that. where I had a meeting. There was somebody that controlled the rights to Encyclopedia yeah. Brown, and then my agent at UCA was like, yeah, "Okay, you're going to meet her at the." And I was like, I, I, I came in and I it was like 10 a.m. and I ordered a vodka on the rocks and they and, she, and she's like you're you're drinking at 10 a.m why and i said because i'm amazing <laughs> and then they never i was like and then i that pitched them a it? great take on encyclopedia brown like the blood and the <laughs> they never called back that's that's where i think i think bugs Meany is behind it <laughs> i think we can solve it <sighs> hey how are you hi you i don't know that much about the 80s yeah <laughs> Well, yeah, you do. You, it's 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 when you. Uh, it's when I stopped watching everything in the eighties. I I got out of my parents' house and I I just started fucking. So did you think when when the when the Goonies and ET and everything was happening, were you like, yeah. this is a golden age of cinema, or were you like, these kids are dumb? Dumb. Hmm. All right, yeah. all right. Two yeah. sides to every story. Yeah. <laughs> well, Duffer Brothers, uh, are you plugging anything? <laughs> <laughs> skull juice, skull juice, say skull juice. Skull juice is coming out. Oh, did we? Do we need to talk about uh, Meundies or, or Pogo sticks or anything? No, did, we did, do not. Did Meundies drop us? <laughs> no, no, it's all fine. Okay, we could. Uh, we did could everyone hear the, the skills though at advertise reading if we want to. If we wanted to, because I don't want to threaten Meundies if the relationship's good, but I do want to point out that that I mean they may think they have us by the short hairs, but their their product could be so easily pooped in. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Like, yeah. you could just shit your pants on stage and just, uh, just be like... Our whole commercial in New York was about people shitting their pants for uh, during the MeUndies commercial. Yeah, and they loved it. Okay. Uh, well, thank God it's a great product. Yeah. But your, your, your 20-minute commercial or whatever was the best thing I ever heard. Oh, the thanks, thanks, thing. Yeah. thanks. Yeah. I'm not just saying that because we're friends, because I kind of, I, I, you know, because we're friends, I kind of hate you. No, you, being, yeah, yeah. you don't like a lot about me. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, all right. Well, I should probably do a rap. Yeah. <laughs> but like, but like a sitting down rap. Oh shit! This isn't the return of sit down rapper, is it? <laughs> Don't remember him. Oh, or or that thing about he didn't care about your needs. Yo, 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 yo. Yeah, oh, oh. Yo. 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 Oh, yo. Fuck. Yo. Hold on. Yo. 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 East side, west side, north side, south. Fuck your mama in the head. In the mouth. I fucked your mama all a good long day. I fucked your mama because my name is Shay. Shay Johnson. A new character. My name is Shay Johnson. I live on 3rd Street. I like to go to the haircut in Beach Street. I like to get my hairs cut on the side and on the top. And then I take them for a ride. Say, Lo, look how much short my hair's got. And then the women say, oh man, well, look what you got. And then I say, you want to smoke some pot? And they come back to my house and I say, my soul's rotten. Cause I'm a depressed rapper From the new era of hip capper I'm gonna kill myself with my lyrical madness And why are you calling me? I don't know why you don't call me I don't know why everybody got a problem with me I'm just a depressed rapper I'm so depressed, God hates me I'm so depressed I'm a depressed rapper With an auto-tune effect I'm a depressed rapper Like all the rappers are You don't hear anybody using this effect to say something cool like Hey, I had a great day today I, I really felt like I had a win I had an audition and I feel like I'm in the system No, oh, I'm gonna wish them well I'm gonna go down to New Orleans and help them stack sandbags You know what I mean? To save their lives from the incoming flood I'm gonna donate my money and donate my blood Because I know that people need help And I'm gonna go to the restaurant with a good Yelp score Cause I want deconstructed lasagna and some more Foam soup 
<laughs> because I'm a rapper and I've got a lot of positive things to say. <laughs> it goes like this. I want to kill myself. Why don't you pay me for fucking you on the shelf? I need you to pay me to fuck you or I'm going to kill myself. Why does your face make me feel like I can't feel my face? I'm gonna go to hell when I die Cause I got problems, I got no oh my god I feel so bad about myself I feel bad, I feel bad about myself But the Duffer Brothers in the house I fucked your mother till her pussy got tight as a mouse Your mama's pussy stole some cheese from me And I ran after it like a cat And it tried to fool me your mama's pussy ran into a hole I reached my hand to it And put a stick of dynamite in my hand Dressed like a mouse The dynamite was dressed like a mouse The dynamite was dressed like a mouse Yo, take it away Yo, I'm, I'm MC Dynamite Mouse I'm, 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 I'm No, don't take it <laughs> For real, he made me come here. No, it was a, it was an impulsive thought. He told me to come all the way over here and rap. I changed my mind. Don't make me get mad. Oh. Yeah, right. Fuck you. 911. Don't forget 911. Yo, when those towers came down, my heart came down, my aortic valve came down. But my heart was the tallest, and now it's the ballest. Yeah. I never forget when I fuck your mama so hard, her 9-11 gets wet. I made her pussy so wide, I flew two planes inside. Now she came and then she died. Yo, but then she went to, oh shit, oh fuck, what the fuck, what shit. God damn, it was like a terrorist attack, woke a sleeping giant. Yo, get the UN's consent before you invade a country. <laughs> Thank you for coming to Harmontown, everybody. The Duffer Brothers. The Duffer Brothers. Dino give them a chance. Will you give them a chance when you see their show on Netflix? Andy Just give Dick. them a chance. And uh, Dustin Marshall. Listen to Skull Juice with Dino. Listen to and Skull Juice. And have a great night. Go listen to Skull Juice. Take care. Get any of that? It's a good show.